ओके गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स सो वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विथ अ न्यू टॉपिक टूडे दैट इज बायोजोग्राफी दोज ऑफ यू हुव ज्वाइन नाउ मीट मी आफ्टर द क्लास एंड वील टॉक अबाउट नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स ओके सो आई हैव टोल्ड यू द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस टॉपिक द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज बायोजोग्राफी हम्म तो द टॉपिक ऑफ बायोजोग्राफी नाउ द नेक्स्ट टू टॉपिक्स ऑफ फिजिकल जोग्राफी यू विल बी फाइंडिंग दैट दीज आर द टू टॉपिक्स विच हैव बीन ट्रेडिशनली वेरी नेग्लेक्टेड टॉपिक्स इन द कोचिंग क्लासेस in majority of the places where they are uh, teaching optional geography they'll neglect these two topics bio geography and environmental geography uh iske piche mera ek theory hai ki kyon neglect karte hain aur theory is very simple because the topics are not so much difficult so the question arises why there is a neglect which is taking place despite the fact कि ये दो टॉपिक्स दे आर ह्यूजली सिग्निफिकेंट फ्रॉम योर ओवरऑल प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड अगर हम देखें तो कैन आई से कि ऑलमोस्ट 15 टू 18 क्वेश्चंस आर बीइंग आस्ड एवरी ईयर फ्रॉम द टॉपिक ऑफ एनवायरनमेंट इकोलॉजी व्हिच इंक्लूड्स द बायोजोग्राफी इन प्रिलिम्स येस ऑन नो डेफिनेटली येस and this is something which is more relevant to us even as an individual even if suppose i am not preparing for civil services uske bawajood bhi this is something which is very important we should know about what is happening around us with respect to the biosphere it is essentially the study of the biosphere but the story goes back to the era which started in 2009 2009 ke baad se kya hua hai Uh, UPSC has changed the way they have been asking questions. They are asking questions from across the topics now. But before, if you go to this period, if you have seen the PYQs, you might have seen 60 markers aate the. And have you noticed that every year there used to be one geomorphology 60 marker, one if you talk about uh, 60 marker of climatology, okay, and thus this means that if you have prepared three topics geomorphology climatology and oceanography physical geography se jo choice wale questions hain wo nahi fasne wale theek hai if you further go back you will be finding that in even in the compulsory part you will be finding ki uh, usse pehle agar jaoge to paper 1 mein pehla question used to be world mapping Have you seen that? It used to be world mapping, so there was no such short note. In section B, the first question again it was compulsory. There used to be the short notes, and you will be finding out of five, you have to come, you had to ultimately. There was also a choice in the compulsory part. You had to cover up three. So there, at that time, you might have seen that the short notes used to be twenty markers. so if you complete three of them out of the given five again that means you would have done that so under such circumstances when i used to prepare for geography optional in my coaching classes which i had done they used to teach you 50% of geography syllabus 50 60% syllabus cover kar liya ho gaya tha usse zyada zarurat hi nahi thi so <coughs> you study geomorphology you study climatology you study oceanography you study models and theories from section b and ek aur topic aur kar liye population settlement bas finish paper 1 a 
अल्टीमेटली देर विल नॉट बी अ सिंगल क्वेश्चन विच यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू आंसर ठीक है सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द टीचर्स दे वर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस एरा और इसलिए उन्होंने खुद कभी बायोजोग्राफी और एनवायरमेंट जोग्राफी पढ़ा ही नहीं तो पढ़ाएंगे क्या एंड probably this is the primary reason why there is neglect because generally teachers ke sath yahi panga hota hai they will revolve the entire classes around the things which they have which is their strength and that is the strength used definitely is geomorphology climatology such type of topics are generally the strength theek hai this is one of the reasons ki biogeography or environment geography is a area which is neglected and no matter who is getting selected today in geography and i am saying with this with very high certainty that even those who have not done classes with me they study guidance ias class notes for biogeography and environment geography because this is the only classes where we cover this these two topics in great detail theek hai लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ बायोजोग्राफी बायोजोग्राफी का सिग्निफिकेंस बता चुका हूं हियर ऑल्सो यू विल बी फाइंडिंग दैट डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन आर बींग आज इन द एग्जामिनेशन हाउ एवर द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट इफ यू हैव स्टडीड अगर पढ़ नहीं रखा है तो देन इवन दैट डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन लुक टू यू लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल की आउट ऑफ सिलेबस है एंड दिस हैज बीन अ बिग प्रॉब्लम इन बायोजोग्राफी पर्टिकुलरली एनवायरमेंट जोग्राफी इज समथिंग विच इज मोर डायनेमिक from there they can ask you many contemporary themes also but when it comes to biogeography biogeography is more theoretical and comparatively less dynamic so from here there would should not be any question which you should not be in a position to answer that like ek chhota sa example deta hu a uh, few years back there was one question and this question was uh, classify the plants according to the water needs ठीक है अब बहुत सिंपल सा क्वेश्चन था अकॉर्डिंग टू द वाटर नीड्स एक टॉपिक है सिलेबस में एंड दिस टॉपिक इज फैक्टर्स इन्फ्लुएंसिंग वर्ल्ड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स सो वी विल सी थ्री टाइप ऑफ फैक्टर्स व्हिच आर इन्फ्लुएंसिंग एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स अ सबसेट ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स दैट इज बायोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स एंड थर्ड इज द हिस्टोरिकल फैक्टर्स विद इन एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स वी विल सी we'll talk about how sunlight is affecting the distribution if you talk about how uh, other things like uh, uh, if you talk about the temperature water availability soil topography winds etc several type of environmental factors how they are affecting the distribution of plants and animals so when we study here about the uh, how water affects we essentially talk about three categories of plants three types of plants and you might have heard about these three type of plants xerophytic mesophytic and hygrophytic theek hai and these three terms they ultimately tell you about the water needs of the plants xerophytic plants are the ones which are able to survive in drought like conditions there are several type of xerophytic plants like for example there are tropophytes which if you talk about in one season they can tolerate drought these are the deciduous plants there are others like sclerophyllous vegetation which is mediterranean vegetation it is also a type of xerophyte helophytes with like mangroves they are also similar to xerophytes theek hai so ye sab cheeze pata honi chahiye and then only you will be able to essentially answer the question but what happened majority of the students i met they talked about unhone bola ki sir likh diya tha and i asked them what you have written basically some of them had written about copens classification remember we have talked about copens classification where the he used the plants to essentially talk about the distribution of climate some of them had written about thornth weight classification बट ये जो सिंपल क्लासिफिकेशन था जेरोपिटिक मीजोफिटिक एंड हाइग्रोफिटिक अगेन आई डेंट फाउंड इन फाइंड एनी वन हुटन 
not a single person i could find so can you imagine that where is the problem the problem is here that our content is not updated the content is not prepared properly and even the simple questions if you talk about we find that they are challenging to us theek hai so jaise humne oceanography ke bare mein baat kiya tha that if you talk about oceanography it is very dependable topic same is the case of biogeography it is very dependable topic once you prepare it it becomes highly dependable and it is going to help you immensely in gs papers as well theek okay? hai so that is the nature of biogeography topic ab biogeography mein agar hum baat kare to do teen topics hain jo main yahan par hum padhne wale hain biogeography ke andar and others we will be studying as a part of environmental geography theek okay? hai so if you talk about for example one category of soil it is uh, one category of topics is related with soil so here you can see number of topics are there like genesis of soil classification and distribution of soils soil profile soil erosion degradation and conservation theek okay. hai so all of these if you talk about are the topics which will be covering here in general we will be covering this topic till here soil profile tak cover karenge soil erosion degradation and conservation yahan par main nahi lunga why i will not be taking here this topic because if i take here there will be lots of repetition and there is a topic in our syllabus in paper 2 as well and if you talk about it is soil types and their distribution theek hai तो so, जब हम पेपर टू में सॉइल पढ़ेंगे तो देर आई विल टॉक अबाउट सॉइल इरोजन फ्रॉम वर्ल्ड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एज वेल सॉइल डिग्रेडेशन फ्रॉम वर्ल्ड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द सॉइल फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एज वेल ठीक है क्योंकि मैनेजमेंट की टेक्निक्स तो सेम रहेंगी चाहे वो वर्ल्ड हो चाहे इंडिया हो वी विल सी दैट देर विल बी बायोलॉजिकल मेथड्स एंड देर विल बी मिकेनिकल मेथड्स देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ मेथड्स ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ द सॉइल so the methods would remain same whether we are studying for india point of view or for world point of view theek okay? hai so here we will be talking about in this topic genesis of soil classification and distribution of soils and soil profile i hope this point is clear okay then the next topic that is the biggest topic of biogeography it is factor influencing world distribution of plants and animals world distribution of plants and animals now the syllabus mentions thus only this factors influencing world distribution of plants and animals and one more topic which is mentioned it is wildlife theek okay? hai अगर लेकिन मैं पी वाई क्यूज में जाऊं आई विल बी फाइंडिंग दे हैव नॉट जस्ट आस्क यू द फैक्टर्स इन्फ्लुएंसिंग दे हैव आस्क फैक्टर्स इन्फ्लुएंसिंग तो पूछा ही पूछा बट दे आर देर दे आर आस्किंग यू नंबर ऑफ अदर थिंग्स लाइक दे हैव आस्क बायोम्स वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली यूल फाइंड वन क्वेश्चन विल बी अबाउट द बायोम्स इन रिसेंट टाइम्स नॉट ओनली बायोम्स बट दे आर ऑल्सो आस्किंग अबाउट द रीजनल स्पेसिफिक्स of different biomes for example you know that there is steppe biome so how if you talk about the steppe biome of eurasia is different from the steppe biome of the world such type of questions have also been asked but can you see anywhere in the syllabus directly there is mention of biomes hai kahin par mention nahi hai but they have kept on asking the question on biomes and not only this in period between 2010 se lekar ke uh, 15 16 tak they have also asked you about biogeographic regions they have asked you about the faunistic regions they have asked you about the floristic regions and again it was very surprising because that topic particularly was never we have never come across the people who were writing at that time 
so they have asked you about that also so if i talk about this topic of factors influencing world distribution of plants and animals this is the syllabus topic ye syllabus ka topic hai ab mujhe batao can i say that here it is pretty much clear ek topic to definitely there is the factors which you have to talk about that is the topic but can i say another topic which we can decode from here is the world distribution of plants and animals yes or no is it is this topic implicit can we say that usi ka part and parcel hai theek hai so this topic is uh, if you talk about factors influencing world distribution of plants and animals it is not exclusively mentioned it is implicitly mentioned that there are number of things it is an inclusive topic which includes number of things so world distribution of plants and animals and when we'll talk about when we'll study about it about world distribution of plants and animals we will see it was air wallace who said that the world distribution of plants and animals when we are studying it should be studied in two ways we can study it in two manners one is there can be study where we are studying in a systematic using the systematic approach and where we are studying using the regional approach theek okay. hai so he calls one systematic as the geographical biology and regional he calls it as the biological geography so we have to study from both perspective jab hum systematic perspective se padhte hain this study becomes the study of biomes remember systematic approach mein kya karte hain what is the core of systematic approach you have to find similar patterns make laws theories models so it is this biomes is essentially the same for example tell me agar main biome ki baat kar raha hu and if i am talking about equatorial rain forest tropical rain forest biome i will find that in tropical rain forest biomes there will be three layers three canopies of trees will be found there will be such kind of three canopies of trees would be found and can i say ki ye three canopies of trees minimum three canopies of trees would not be only found in one such tropical rainforest biome agar aisa amazon mein mil raha can i say a same thing i will be finding in the congo rainforest same thing i will be finding along the guinea coast of africa same thing i will be finding in case of indonesia same thing i will be finding in case of the silent valley in kerala theek hai so when i am saying that there are three canopies of trees three layers of trees minimum which will be found in the tropical rainforest biome am i making generalization yes or no i am making generalization other thing for example is bar prelims mein shayad isi bar tha ya pichle saal tha i don't remember but this question was there about the soil of such areas so soil of these areas is deficient in organic matter theek hai isi bar tha i think acha pichle saal tha so it is deficient in organic matter so why it is deficient in organic matter because there is very high biological activity taking place in these areas okay so it is being decomposed it is being consumed by those biological activity and as a result of which what happens we find that 
it is not so much enriched in the organic matter. So, again when I am talking about this, can I say it is a principle that we are talking about? It is a theory, it is a law that we are talking about. So, this type of study, when we are studying biomes, it is essentially what it is systematic. But we will see in 18th century, when the researchers studied the Congo forest and Amazon forest, they were so much surprised. They were so much surprised. Unke hoshi ud gaye. And why? Simple reason was they could not find one single mammal species which was common in the Amazon forest with Congo forest. There was not a single mammalian species which was common. And tell me, does this tells me that although there might be similarities between them, can we say that there may be regional differences also between them? Regionally, one type of rainforest may be different from the other type of rainforest, for example, Amazon may dekhenge ki there are monkeys, but if you talk about these monkeys, these are new world monkeys, they are less developed monkeys. But if you talk about in the African forest, Congo forest and Indonesian forest, we will be finding there is presence of old world monkeys. And you know, here you do not only find monkeys, there are also apes present. Okay? So, it is very different. Similarly, if you look into Amazon forest, you will be finding there is lots of birds, indigenous birds which will be found. And very, very common feature of these indigenous birds which are there, they lack singing muscles. It is common feature of these birds which are found in the Amazon forest. Okay? Or isko sunte hi, pairon ke niche se zameen khisak jati hai. Cartoon movies ne hume kitna beku banaya. You might have seen that movie, uh, kaun sa tha? Up. That balloon wala. He is going into the Amazon forest by the balloon and he finds a bird who is very beautifully singing. Sabse pehle mujhe to vahi yaad aya. So again, there is essentially what there is a difference and there is a regional difference and this study of regional difference, we study it under the concept of biogeographic regions. Biogeographic regions. So, biogeographic regions ko bhi do parts mein divide kar sakte ho. One is the faunistic regions and second if you talk about is the Floristic, floristic regions. Okay. So, that is <coughs> if you talk about the world distribution of plants and animals. So, that means this may biomes ke baare mein padna hai. Biomes may be you can understand ki jab hum biomes ki baat karenge. So, can we say there can be two types, terrestrial and aquatic, okay. terrestrial and aquatic biomes, terrestrial may be kai tarike ke ho sakte hai. there can be forest biomes, there can be shrub biome, there can be grassland biome, aquatic may be Many types can be there, like two broad types will be marine and freshwater biomes. Okay, marine may be uh, oceanography, may we have seen that there are different different zones which are present. Okay, we have talked about the pelagic zones and the benthic zones. So, different different types may be mil jayenge. Hame. Freshwater may be kai tarikhi ke ho sakte hai. like for example, two broad category of freshwater biomes, can we say one is the case of flowing water like a river or stream and one is will be the case of still water like a lake or pond. Okay. So, again there will be 
such categories and definitely you have to study about the faunistic regions, floristic regions and broadly the biogeographic regions. So, this topic if you talk about is quite big topic. This is the topic which will take at least 4 to 5 days, 4 to 5 classes to cover. Because if I just look into the factors this affecting, factors maybe you will see, like we will see the factors which are influencing the distribution of plants and animals. We will talk about several categories of factors like the environmental factors. Environmental factors be bhoat sare ho sakte hain. like for example, availability of sunlight can be a factor, other factors like temperature, other factors like if you talk about water availability, other factors like nutrients which is determined by the soil or we call them as the edaphic factors. Other factors like topography, other factors like other climatic parameters like winds. So, variety of factors will be determining, environmental factors will be determining the distribution of plants and animals. Okay. So, you can understand some of them like these, can we say ki they will be found in a zonal pattern, bade zones mein milega, temperature ke zones hote hain, sunlight ke zones hote hain, water availability ke zones hote hain and some of them if you talk about will be the non-zonal factors. Okay. So, again we will discuss this in more detail later on. Then if you talk about environment ke alawa, there is a subset of environmental factors. It is biological factors. Biological factors. So, biological factors mein bhoat sare factors ho sakte hain. One category of biological factors will be the ones which are resulting from the interaction of species. Okay. So, tell me when there is interaction of species, can I say two tarike ke interaction, in fact three tarike ke interaction hote positive, negative and neutral, we are more concerned with the positive and negative. So, jo positive hota hai, usko bolte hai, symbiosis and the negative we call it as competition which is taking place. So, there is several biological factors which are there. In fact, not only this, historically agar hum regions ke context mein jab baat karenge, biogeographic regions ke context mein, there are several other biological processes which are also determined. Like for example, tell me, uh, one important process has been the phenomena of dispersal of species. So, species are originating at one place, but over a period of time, they disperse in different regions. So, tell me, can we say dispersal will determine their distribution? Yes or no? For example, hum, hum dekhenge baad mein, ki mammals species are the species which have least ability of dispersal. Okay, they are not very strong in dispersal, but there are some which can disperse to far away locations. Like for example, one mammal species which will be found in all the continents of the world, it is konsa ho sakta? It is mouse. Thikhe, it is found everywhere. So, tell me, can I say ki mouse is found everywhere in the wild I am talking about? And there can be reasons for this. Pehli baat to bahut chota sa hota hai. And if it is small, does it mean that it can be also carried by other animals like birds? Is it possible ki suppose ek ped mein reh raha tha aur wo ped gir gaya samudra mein. So, is it possible that it can float and reach other continents? It is possible. Theke? So, we will see 
dispersal is one very very important factor which would determine the distribution of species in the world theek hai then tell me can we say other factors bhi ho sakte hain other processes biological processes like for example one important biological process which would be determinative process is the case of extinction of species so extinction is a biological law theek hai every species which is born it will ultimately over a period of time what will happen to it it will become extinct theek hai so can we say we can explain many of the things like hame marsupials केवल ऑस्ट्रेलिया में मिलते हैं एंड वी फाइंड देर इज वन स्पीशी ऑफ मार्सोपियल मार्सोपियल ओपोसम दैट इज ऑल्सो फाउंड इन साउथ अमेरिका ठीक है रेस्ट ऑफ द कॉन्टिनेंट देर इज एबसेंस ऑफ मार्सोपियल्स तो क्या रीजन होगा दे वर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन अदर कॉन्टिनेंट द ओनली थिंग इज दैट दे बिकेम एक्सटिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द कॉम्पिटिशन फ्रॉम द हायर मैमल्स placental mammals which evolved later marsupials are also a type of mammals and old type of mammals so there was evolution of new species placental mammals and they were superior in the competition and ultimately what happened as a result of this competition they became extinct theek hai and why they didn't become extinct in australia because australia drifted early from the other continents before the evolution of these placental mammals okay so the extinction will be one of the biological process other biological processes bhi affect kar sakte hain distribution of species one we'll talk about is the speciation speciation process speciation process means it simply in simple terms it refers to evolution of new species evolution of new species so tell me if a new species evolves can i say it will affect its distribution so agar evolve hua hai and it is present only at one place then it will be only found in that particular place like abhi maine bola there are many birds which are indigenous to where indigenous to south america that is the amazon forest ठीक है सो स्पीसिएशन इज अनदर बायोलॉजिकल फिनोमिना जो उसको अफेक्ट करेगा एंड देर इज अ थर्ड फैक्टर व्हिच इज एसेंशियली द हिस्टोरिकल फैक्टर हिस्टोरिकल फैक्टर्स और हिस्टोरिकल फैक्टर्स में दो तरीके के फैक्टर्स की बात करेंगे टेक्टोनिक फैक्टर्स लाइक टेक्टोनिक में भी विल टॉक अबाउट फॉर्मेशन of mountains ek bahut bada factor raha historically and if you talk about other tectonic factors very important has been the continental drift continental drift and there is a second factor which is essentially climate change क्लाइमेट चेंज ठीक है सो बाद में देखेंगे फॉर एग्जाम्पल कि वी विल बी फाइंडिंग दैट एल्पाइन फ्लोरा ठीक है यू हैव वर्ड अबाउट एल्पाइन फ्लोरा ठीक है विच इज फाउंड ऑल्सो इन द हिमालयाज में भी मिलता है वेर इट इज फाउंड इन द हिमालयाज at the top okay at higher slopes it is found and not only in himalayas wherever there is presence of larger mountains okay we find that it originated where it originated actually in scandinavia okay but aaj bahut widely distributed hai throughout the world so kya reason ho sakta hai again it is related with climate change so for example if there was climate change tell me ki can i say the glaciers would be expanding like this and as the glaciers expanded can i say this flora found a better or a very suited habitat 
to disperse in new areas. So during the periods of glaciation, क्या होगा उसने बहुत बड़े areas में disperse हो गया but जब फिर से वापस डी ग्लेशिएशन का पीरियड आया वॉर्म पीरियड आ गया तो कैन आई से अगेन देर विल बी रिसीडिंग ऑफ द ग्लेशियर्स तो ग्लेशियर्स रिसीड कर गए एंड दैट सुटेबल एनवायरमेंट वॉज नॉट फाउंड एंड कैन आई से डिस्पाइट दैट इज इट पॉसिबल कि उसने अपने लिए रिफ्यूज जोन फाउंड फाइंड कर लिए होंगे इन दीज एरिया एंड दीज रिफ्यूज जोन बेसिकली विल बी वेयर माउंटेन्स because do we know that in the mountains there is presence of such cold areas as you go higher up altitude overcomes the limits of latitude theek okay? hai so again climate change we will see is a very very dominant factor which has affected the distribution of the species which are present today theek okay? hai so you can understand this topic alone will take That means ये जो टॉपिक हम बात कर रहे हैं फैक्टर्स इन्फ्लुएंसिंग वर्ल्ड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स इट विल अलोन टेक मिनिमम ऑफ फाइव क्लासेस ठीक है बिकॉज इट इज एन इंक्लूसिव टॉपिक इट इज नॉट एन एक्सक्लूसिव टॉपिक नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स वी हैव टू स्टडी एज अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस टॉपिक सो दैट इज दॉयल एंड द फैक्टर्स इन्फ्लुएंसिंग वर्ल्ड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स देन देर आर सम ऑफ द टॉपिक्स विच इज problems of deforestation and conservation measures this topic again i will not be dealing in biogeography because pehle bhi bataya maine there is a topic by the name of global and regional ecological changes and imbalances in environment geography so we will see how what type of global and regional ecological changes and imbalances are taking place in the biosphere also so here i will be covering the topic of if you talk about problems of deforestation and conservation methods you can see here there is another topic influence of man on ecology and environment theek okay? hai so influence of man kya hai can i say this is the influence of man are we leading to devegetation phenomena theek okay? hai so that is the influence of man so that topic this topic of deforestation will be covered along with these two topics of environmental geography theek hai iske baad bachta hai social forestry and agroforestry theek hai social forestry and agroforestry is another topic which is mentioned in paper 2 so i will be taking up that topic there and can you see here agriculture mein there is the topic of agro and social forestry theek hai तो डुप्लीकेसी नहीं करेंगे विल नॉट स्टडी सेपरेटली फ्रॉम वर्ल्ड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड इंडिया पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एक जगह पर ही पढ़ लेंगे सो दैट वी आर एबल टू सेव टाइम ठीक है सो वी विल स्टडी इट विथ पेपर टू एंड मेजर जीन पूल सेंटर्स ये देख लेंगे बायोजोग्राफी के अंदर विल टॉक अबाउट वॉट आर एसेंशली द जीन पूल सेंटर्स ठीक है वाइल्ड लाइफ इट इज इंक्लूडेड एज अ पार्ट ऑफ फैक्टर्स इंफ्लुएंसिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स दैट मीन्स कि बायोजोग्राफी के जो सिलेबस है इसमें से दो टॉपिक अभी कवर नहीं हो रहे हैं इरोजन डिग्रेडेशन एंड कंजर्वेशन एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ डिफॉरेस्टेशन कंजर्वेशन मेशर्स एंड सोशल फॉरेस्ट एंड एग्रो फॉरेस्ट दीज थ्री टॉपिक्स विल बी कवर्ड लेटर रेस्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू कवर नाउ ठीक है इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट रिलेटेड विद दिस यू कैन आस्क मी नाउ ओके तो आगे बढ़ते हैं सबसे पहला टॉपिक विद विच विल स्टार्ट बायोजोग्राफी इज द सॉइल जो ठीक है सॉइल so within the soil we will talk about number of things one thing we'll talk about the concept of what is essentially a soil we will be talking about number of other things 
in within the concept we will talk about the characteristics etc of the soil we will talk about very important thing that is the soil profile ke bare mein bhi baat karenge what is essentially a soil profile theek hai soil will be formed of various layers theek hai which are superimposed over each other so we will talk about that profile of the soils then we will also talk about other things very important thing which we have to talk about is the genesis genesis of soils and within the genesis of soils we will be talking first very important the factors which are affecting the formation of soils and then we will talk about the soil forming processes the soil forming processes finally once we are done with this we will talk about the distribution of soil and when we are talking about this distribution of soil we will look into two type of distributions one is what we call it as the zonal distribution or classification this can also be referred to as a more of a geographical classification or it is also sometimes referred to as the marbots classification and the second type of classification is soil taxonomy soil taxonomy never ever they have asked about soil taxonomy till now they have only asked this classification in the examination theek hai but today if you talk about marbots classification it is just utilizable for the teaching purposes for practical purposes for planning purposes it is the soil taxonomy which is essentially useful so although they have never asked we will have a glance over what is this soil taxonomy so that if they ask in the examination we will be in a position to write about theek hai so these are the topics that we will be covering as a part of the soil theek hai so <clears throat> first of all what is essentially a soil soil hota kya hai hmm we can simply say the upper most layer of the earth surface which is made up of what which is made up of weathered material theek hai broken material which may or may not have presence of biological content sometimes it is possible ki soil ke andar biological content nahi hai like for example tell me can we call sand dune jahan par hai it can be called as a soil presence of sand but in that sand we will be finding it lacks biological content so which may or may not have biological association theek okay? hai so such a layer if you talk about is referred to as what it is referred to as the soil theek okay? hai so what is the soil soil it is written as you can see is the upper weathered layer of the earth's crust it is a dynamic entity which is always undergoing physical chemical and biological changes the word soil is derived from latin word solum which means earthly earth, earthly hona chahiye earthly materials in which plants grow theek hai science which is dealing with the study of soil is referred to as pedology or edaphology pedology is the study of soils and pedogenesis refers to the processes involved in the formation of soil theek okay? hai 
सो अगर मुझे सॉइल को डिफाइन करना है तो वॉट इज सॉइल सॉइल इज डिफाइंड एज एन अनकंसॉलिडेटेड लेयर फॉर्म्ड फ्रॉम द लिथोलॉजिकल दैट मीन्स वेरिंग रॉक्स बाय वेदरिंग एजेंसीज विच इज मॉडिफाइड बाय मेनी ऑर्गेनिक एंड बायो केमिकल प्रोसेसेस ठीक है द वर्टिकल सेक्शन थ्रू द अपर क्रस्ट ऑफ द अर्थ इट इज रेफर टू एज द सॉइल प्रोफाइल और थ्रू द सॉइल अपर क्रस्ट के बजाय सॉइल भी लिख सकते हैं सॉइल ऑफ द अर्थ इज रेफर टू एज द सॉइल प्रोफाइल ठीक है देर इज दिस पीपीटी आई एल अपलोड इट फॉर यू इट कंटेन सट सम इफ यू टॉक अबाउट अबाउट द सॉइल सर्टन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ सॉइल जो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हम पढ़ने जा रहे हैं तो यू कैन सी सॉइल इज बेसिकली वॉट एज वी सेड इट इज अ डायनेमिक लेयर इन विच वॉट इज टेकिंग प्लेस मेनी कॉम्प्लेक्स केमिकल फिजिकल एंड बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटीज आर कॉन्स्टेंटली ऑन गोइंग सॉइल्स बिकम एडजस्टेड टू कंडीशन ऑफ क्लाइमेट लैंडफॉर्म वेजिटेशन एंड विल चेंज इंटरनली वेन दोज कंट्रोलिंग कंडीशन एसेंशली चेंज ठीक है तो पहले एक एक अच्छी सी डेफिनेशन लिख लेते हैं सॉइल की यू जस्ट राइट देखो सॉइल इज द अपर मोस्ट सॉइल इज द अपर मोस्ट अनकंसॉलिडेटेड लेयर अपर मोस्ट अनकंसॉलिडेटेड लेयर ऑफ द अर्थ सरफेस of the earth surface which may or may not which may or may not have biological associations may or may not have biological associations full we'll stop it is formed through several through several complex complex chemical physical complex chemical physical and biological processes to so stop formation of soils is determined is determined by several factors including the climate vegetation landforms and time climate vegetation landforms and time ठीक है, सो दिस इज वॉट वी एसेंशियली मीन बाय द सॉइल नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द सॉइल वॉट ऑल थिंग्स आर कंटेन विद इन द सॉइल वॉट इज एसेंशियली द सॉइल मैटर ठीक है सो सॉइल यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड लाइक ये पिक्चर देख सकते हो तो ये अपर लेयर जो दिखाई पड़ रही है ये बेसिकली क्या है इट इज द सॉइल यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द प्लांट्स दे डिराइव देयर न्यूट्रिएंट्स फ्रॉम वेयर फ्रॉम द सॉइल एंड थ्रू दीज न्यूट्रिएंट्स दे आर एबल टू यूजिंग दीज न्यूट्रिएंट्स दे आर एबल टू मेक फूड एंड दस यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मच इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज फॉर द सर्वाइवल ऑफ लाइफ ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ ठीक है सो दिस इज द सॉइल और देखेंगे इसके अंदर भी प्रोफाइल होती है इस तरह की कैन सी दिस प्रोफाइल ऑफ सॉइल तो दिस इज एसेंशियली वॉट इट इज अ सॉइल प्रोफाइल तो अगर इस पार्ट को अगर मैं निकालू तो वॉट वी विल बी फाइंडिंग विल बी फाइंडिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रोफाइल विल बी विजिबल ठीक है सो दिस इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू नाउ टॉक अबाउट अबाउट द सॉइल्स ठीक है आई होप इट इज क्लियर अब ये जो सॉइल है उसमें बहुत सारी चीजें हमें मिलती हैं वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इट विल कंटेन सॉलिड मैटर 
it will contain water it will also contain some empty spaces theek okay. hai so there will also be presence of air so what essentially is present within, within the soil soil matters mein kya kya milta hai there is presence of solids which can be organic or inorganic content can be found theek okay. hai there is water so water jo soil water jisko bolte hain it is basically what it is a complex chemical solution ऑब्वियसली इसके नंबर ऑफ सोर्सेस हो सकते हैं वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन सोर्स कैन बी द प्रिसिपिटेशन और इट कैन बी प्रेजेंस ऑफ रन ऑफ सीपेज ऑफ वाटर टेकिंग प्लेस समवेयर और इट कैन बी ग्राउंड वाटर एटसेट्रा नंबर ऑफ सोर्सेस कैन बी देयर बट दैट इज व्हाट वी फाइंड एयर इज आल्सो प्रेजेंट पोर स्पेसेस देयर इज एयर इधर इट विल बी फिल्ड विथ एयर और वाटर सो वेन देर इज एयर प्रेजेंट दैट इज बेसिकली द केस ऑफ सॉइल एयर नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट देर आर सेवरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सॉइल इसको लिख भी लेते हैं इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट कीप ऑन राइटिंग मुझे लगता है कि फ्यू थिंग्स दे विल स्टिक टू योर माइंड बेटर सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सॉइल physical and chemical properties of the soil so we will be talking about the soil two soils can be differentiated from each other kiske basis par color ke basis par ho sakta hai differentiation texture ke basis par structure ke basis par or what is present in them the colloidal matter also the type of soil water which is found in theek hai तो सबसे पहले कलर की बात करते हैं सॉइल कलर सो देर कैन बी नंबर ऑफ टाइप ऑफ सॉइल कलर्स सॉइल्स कैन डिस्प्ले वराइटी ऑफ टाइप ऑफ कलर्स ठीक है लाइक वेरी कॉमन टाइप ऑफ कलर हमें मिलता है ब्लैक ठीक है वी फाइंड अ वेरी कॉमन टाइप ऑफ कलर इज और वन टाइप ऑफ कलर नॉट इट इज ब्लैक सॉइल्स ठीक है ब्लैक कलर और ब्लैक अगर कलर है सॉइल का it is indicative of the fact that there is too much organic content in that soil so baad mein dekhenge ki hota kya hai when there is vegetation present theek hai jo vegetation leaves etc when they will fall on the ground then what happens there are certain bacteria which are referred to as humifying bacteria wo kya karenge usko decompose kar denge and decompose karke usko humus mein convert kar denge ठीक है ह्यूमस एंड व्हाट इज द कलर ऑफ द ह्यूमस इट इज ब्लैक ठीक है सो अगर सॉइल का कलर ब्लैक मिल रहा है इसका मतलब क्या है देर इज लॉट्स ऑफ ह्यूमस प्रेजेंट इन द सॉइल ठीक है सो यू माइट हैव सीन आजकल बहुत चल रहा है वील ऑल्सो लेटेड टॉक अबाउट दैट इन द अर्बनाइजेशन जोग्राफी देर इज अ फिनोमिना और वन थिंग विच इज वेरी हैज बिकम वेरी पॉपुलर इट इज अर्बन एग्रीकल्चर ठीक है एंड यू नो अनदर एस्पेक्ट दैट यू मस्ट नो अबाउट इज द वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट सो वन ऑफ द वेज ऑफ मैनेजिंग द द वेट वेस्ट द फूड वेस्ट एक्सेट्रा विच इज कमिंग कैन वी से इट कैन बी कंपोस्टेड कंपोस्टिंग ठीक है और उसको कंपोस्ट करके बेसिकली हम किसमें कन्वर्ट करते हैं इट इज द सिमिलर थिंग दैट इज अ काइंड ऑफ ह्यूमस ठीक है सो देर आर सेवरल बैक्टीरिया विच आर नेचुरली फाउंड एंड दे वुड डू वॉट दे विल कन्वर्ट दिस वेजिटल मैटर इन टू ह्यूमस तो इफ द कलर ऑफ द सॉइल इज ब्लैक इट इज इंडिकेटिव ऑफ वॉट दैट देर इज एक्सेस ह्यूमस इन द सॉइल ठीक है और इस तरह के सॉइल हमें कहां पर मिलेंगे देखेंगे इट विल बी इन द टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड ठीक है इट इज एक्चुअली द स्टेपी they will be associated with the steppy bile theek hai but sometimes black soils can also be result of the rocks over which they are found theek hai like india mein dekhenge there is maharashtra plateau where there is presence of black soil 
the black soil of Maharashtra plateau is not outcome of this phenomena of presence of excessive humus. In fact, we will see there is in Maharashtra plateau there is actually deficiency of humus, deficiency of organic content. So, par dekhenge that it is actually result of what a mineral which is found, which is associated with basaltic rocks found there, titaniferous magnetite. And that titaniferous magnetite of soil ko black color data. But whatever world over jag, jab hum baat karte hai, Maharashtra plateau can be considered as an exception. World over the black soil which is found, it is result of what? It is result of excess of humus. If the color of the soil is light, if it is light colored. It is not so much cold, first of all. Okay? We are talking about temperate, matlab, these are subtropical climates. Okay? It is warm temperate. Grasslands, steppy grasslands, hoti hai, they are found in warm temperate. So, there is enough biological activity. Okay? So, if the color of the soil is light, okay? it is indicative of the fact that there is little humus present in it. Okay, like hot climates, like for example, the case of deserts. So, you might have seen desert soil, sand kaisa hota hai, so uska color light hota hai. Okay, so that is basically indicative that there is less humus content. Then the color of the soil can also be reddish, very commonly found red soil in the tropics, most widely distributed, India may be a red soil. So, it is indicative that there is presence of what? Peric content. Okay? It is ferric oxide. Ferric oxide. Okay? So, ye hum dekhenge, ye reddish soil kahan par milega? We will be finding in the, it will be most common within the tropics. Okay? Like for example, tropical rainforest mein mil jayega, monsoon climates mein mil jayega. Okay? And very important characteristic kya hona chahiye? It should be well drained. That means agar water logging ho gaya, to water logging ho gaya to uska kya matlab hai? Can I say there will be less oxygen? If there is water logging, it means less oxygen. Okay? And if there is less oxygen, iska matlab hai ki oxidation process will become slow. And as a result of which what will happen? Peric oxide cannot be formed. In fact, iron will be reduced to ferrous content. Or ferrous content ka ultimately uh, color kya hota hai? It is greenish bluish. Okay. So you can see grayish bluish jab soil milta hai. It is indicative of that there is reduced iron compound. Iron compounds. And it is actually what? It is ferrous. ferrous oxide ठीक है और ये कहां पर फॉर्म होगा इन पुअरली ड्रेन्ड एरियाज वेयर देयर इज वाटर लॉगिंग लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल वेयर देयर कैन बी प्रेजेंस ऑफ स्वैम्प्स एटसेट्रा ठीक है सो दीस आर ऑक्सीजन डिप्लीटेड एनवायरमेंट्स ठीक है सो दैट इज द कलर ऑफ द सोइल देन कम्स द सेकंड इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी सोइल टेक्सचर टेक्सचर ऑफ द सोइल so, if you talk about the texture of the soil, it can be variable. Like for example, one type of texture is gravel. Okay, one category of texture hota hai, it is gravel. Or gravel kahan se kahan tak hota hai? It is over 1 millimeter. Over 1 millimeter is gravel. So, diameter of the particle soil texture what we are studying in soil texture we are studying the size of the particles which make up the soil okay so it is study of what so, size of the sediments or the particles which make up the soil so it can be gravel in texture okay 
वाइल टेक्सचर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी इसको पहले समझ लेते हैं फिर टेक्सचर पे आते हैं देखो टेक्सचर बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है सॉइल के लिए बिकॉज टेक्सचर डिटरमाइंस द वाटर रिटेंटिविटी ऑफ द सॉइल ठीक है सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज वन टेक्सचर सपोज एंड दिस कैन बी ब्रोकन इन टू स्मॉलर फर्दर स्मॉलर पीसेस ठीक है वॉटर सॉइल वॉटर ऑलवेज अटैचेज एज अ फिल्म टू द सर्फेस ऑफ द सॉइल पार्टिकल्स ठीक है तो केस ए में एंड केस बी में टेल मी विच ऑफ दीज हैज ग्रेटर सर्फेस एरिया इट इज बी दैट मीन्स अगर टेक्सचर फाइन हो गया Can we say will there be more water retentivity in such soil? ठीक है so that is why the texture becomes very very important factor in determining the soil characteristics. So you can understand एक texture होगा gravel और जहां पर भी gravelly texture होगा can I say the soil water will be very less? Water retentivity of the soil will be very less. Sandy texture is also where you will be finding in general, जब particularly when we are talking about coarse sand and medium sand will be finding that the water retentivity will be lower okay so you can see that this is the size of the sand so size of the sand kahan se kahan tak milta hai 0.05 to 1 mm okay so there is sand then there is silt and the finest is referred to as clay finest is essentially referred to as the clay and depending upon these the texture of the soil can we say ye texture determine karega plant growth ko yes or no it will essentially determine the plant growth so on the basis of the texture you can see that variety of textures can be identified one of the best textures for the plant growth it is the loamy texture theek hai so isme kisi bhi soil mein hamesha hame aisa nahi hoga ki keval gravel milega ya keval sand milega ya keval silt milega in general what we will be finding gravelly texture to bilkul there are exceptions most of the soils we will find that there will be presence of sand there will be presence of silt and there will also be presence of some clay okay and on the basis of that you can see that we can essentially talk about the variety of soils okay so you can see that there is here where there is so much of clay okay agar particle bahut fine ho gaya okay if they are too much fine does it means that they will also become sticky when there is water theek hai so such kind of sticky soil can i say it will be very difficult to work or if you are doing agriculture for example it will be very difficult to work there in such kind of soil so it is also not very very good for vegetation or very good for agriculture theek hai so you can see there can be depending upon ki dekho clay ka percentage idhar badh raha hai the percentage of silt is increasing in this direction and the percentage of sand is increasing in this direction so you can see there is sandy soil there is loamy sand theek hai there is sandy loam at the center here there is loam loamy soils there is silty loam there is silt there is silt clay loam clay loam sandy clay loam so variety of type of such soils can be found theek okay? hai so soil texture mein what we will be finding ratio of sand silt and clay what it determines it determines water retention properties of the soil it determines the water retentivity as we have said before loamy textures are considered the best for the plant growth they are considered as the best for plant growth
ठीक है सो यू कैन सी देर कैन बी वराइटी ऑफ टेक्चर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहां पर देखो सैंडी लोम एक टेक्स्चर होता है एंड सैंडी लोम में कैन यू सी सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट इज सैंड फिफ्टीन परसेंट इज क्ले एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज सिल्ट हेयर द सैंड इज द डोमिनेंट प्रेजेंस देन देर इज क्ले लोम कैन यू सी इन क्ले लोम देर इज वन थर्ड वन थर्ड वन थर्ड ईच ऑफ देम आर बैलेंस्ड इन लोम टाइप वॉट वी फाइंड देर इज फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ सैंड एटीन परसेंट ऑफ क्ले एंड फोर्टी टू परसेंट ऑफ सिल्ट दिस इज द लोमी टेक्सचर देन देर इज सिल्टी क्ले हियर फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट इज सिल्ट फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट इज क्ले एंड ओनली टेन परसेंट इज द सैंड देन देर इज सिल्टी लोम वेयर सेवेंटी परसेंट इज सिल्ट थर्टीन परसेंट इज क्ले एंड सेवेंटीन परसेंट इज सैंड ठीक है सो अगेन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वेराइटी ऑफ टेक्सचर हो सकते हैं ईच ऑफ दीज टेक्सचर्स वुड बी एसोसिएटेड विद देयर ओन वॉटर रिटेंटिविटी प्रॉपर्टीज ठीक है लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज मुझे ग्रो करना है अ प्लांट विच इज सपोज लेट इज टॉक अबाउट जूट ठीक है जूट इज अ प्लांट विच इज विच रिक्वायर्स लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर ठीक है so out of this which do you think will be more suitable for cultivation of jute can we say it will should these be more related with silty or clay type of textures yes or no in these type of textures what will be finding the water retentivity will be very high theek hai similarly agar ek dusra socho like recent mein dekhenge india mein the sugar cane cultivation it has shifted from it is shifting from north to south number of factors hain uske piche but there are one some other reason one important area which has become area of such cultivation is maharashtra plateau theek hai so maharashtra plateau mein hame kya milta hai basaltic soil theek hai that black soil aur us black soil ki ek bahut important property hoti hai it has fine texture ठीक है, इट्स टेक्सचर इज वेरी फाइन एंड इफ इट्स टेक्सचर इज फाइन तो इसका मतलब क्या हुआ डज इट हैज हाई वाटर रिटेंटिविटी ऑब्वियसली बात है कि वाटर रिटेंटिविटी उसमें मिलेगा और इसका मतलब यह हुआ कैन आई से कि अगर सपोज थोड़ा भी वाटर अवेलेबल है थ्रू इरिगेशन कैन आई से दिस टाइप ऑफ सॉइल विल इट बी सपोर्ट विल इट बी एबल टू सपोर्ट शुगर केन कल्टिवेशन यस it will be able to support sugarcane cultivation and that is why maharashtra plateau has emerged as very important area for growing of the sugarcane there are other reasons also but we'll talk about them later when we'll study about it so that is the soil texture then there is soil structure another property is soil structure so soils jo hote hain you might have seen agar main ek soil सॉइल को देखूं कहीं पर भी तो जो टेक्सचर होता है जिस पार्टिकल से बना हुआ है दैट पार्टिकल इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी कि वो सारे बिखरे हुए हों सैंड में कैन आई से इट इज फाउंड दैट यू इफ यू कैच सैंड इन योर हैंड एंड अल्टीमेटली इफ यू ड्रॉप कैन आई से वो अगर ऐसे पकड़ के रखूं तो धीरे धीरे गिरता रहेगा उसमें से सो so, जो पार्टिकल्स हैं बेसिकली दे आर वॉट दे आर स्कैटर्ड दे आर टोटली अनकंसोलिडेटेड ठीक है बट इन नॉर्मल केस सॉइल जो होगा द पार्टिकल्स बाइंड टू ईच अदर ठीक है अब एक दूसरे से बाइंड कर लेते हैं यूजिंग सम सीमेंटिंग एजेंट्स वन वेरी कॉमन सीमेंटिंग एजेंट और द बाइंडिंग एजेंट इज ऑर्गेनिक मैटर ठीक है सो जहां पर ऑर्गेनिक मैटर कम होगा कैन आई से सॉइल पार्टिकल्स विल नॉट बाइंड ईच अदर एंड कैन आई से इन दैट एरिया Does it means कि वहां पर soil erosion ज्यादा होगा ठीक है Soil का erosion उन areas में ज्यादा होगा ठीक है But in general, soils will stick to each other, they will bind with each other, making certain type of structures, ठीक है Shapes. So variety of shapes and structures would be formed 
like for example here some of these are given one kind of structure is blocky there can be prismatic platy crumby theek hai so variety of structures can be essentially formed so that is referred to as the soil structure so what is soil structure individual soil particles aggregate together in lumps or beds theek hai so this they form soil structures so soil structure will determine the ease of cultivation it will essentially determine the ease of cultivation so there can be variety of type of structures like for example abhi humne dekha best is the crumby structure theek hai crumby structure is considered best for seed germination so this is what we mean by the term soil structure ठीक है देन सॉइल के अंदर बहुत सारी चीजें मिलती हैं लाइक सॉइल इज मेड अप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक एंड इनऑर्गेनिक कंटेंट ठीक है सो देर कैन बी प्रेजेंस ऑफ कोलॉइड्स बेसिस एंड एसिडिटी ऑल दीज आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द सॉइल कोलाइड्स कोलॉइड्स क्या होते हैं द पार्टिकल्स विच आर मेकिंग ऑफ द सॉइल द स्मॉल स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स विच आर प्रेजेंट दीज आर बेसिकली द कोलॉइड्स सो दीज कोलॉइड्स कैन बी the inorganic they can be essentially the inorganic content they will determine the chemical properties they will have the chemical properties of clay so colloids are very fine particles which are present in the soil so they can be inorganic or they can be organic so organic is essentially what it is the humus theek hai ye colloids kya karte hain these make if they are present in excess agar wo excess mein hai to they what they will do they will make the soil acidic if they are in excess they will make the soil acidic theek hai so you can understand if the soil is acidic what will happen to its ph value it will reduce theek hai bases these are clay minerals which are negatively charged that means they are bases so this is neutralized by the attraction of their to their surface the positively charged uh, ions or cations of minerals which are essentially the bases theek hai सो so, जो सॉइल में अभी हमने कोलॉइड्स की बात की जो क्ले मिनरल्स की बात की दे आर बेसिकली व्हाट दे आर नेगेटिवली चार्ज एसिडिक एंड दे कैन बी न्यूट्रलाइज बाय प्रेजेंस ऑफ दिस पॉजिटिवली चार्ज आयंस व्हिच कैन बी प्रेजेंट लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल सेवरल बेसिस मिल सकते हैं कैल्शियम मैग्नीशियम पोटासियम सोडियम ऑल ऑफ दीज आर द बेसिस ठीक है सो ये एक दूसरे के साथ अट्रैक्ट होते हैं बिकॉज देर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ दोज colloids so that is basically the case of bases so bases are recycled into the soil by the decomposition done by the plants and animals they can be replenished by artificial supply by the fertilizers theek hai they are essential for the nutrients nutrients for the plant growth theek hai so that is the case of the bases or depending upon you can understand ki in dono ka relationship kya hai colloids kitna percentage mein hai aur bases kitna percentage mein hai can i say will it determine the acidity of the soil or the ph value of the soil so certain type of soils can be strongly acidic can you understand they can be acidic their ph value can go up to 4 certain type of soils can be strongly very strongly acidic while certain type of soils like saline alkaline soils naam suna hoga so they can be excessively alkaline type of soils as well theek hai so baad mein ye ye main isko bataunga jab main type of soils ko dekhenge like for example you can see certain type of soils like podzol soils they are very strongly acidic ye four wali jo category hai isme hum dekhenge there are certain organic soils जिसमें वी विल बी फाइंडिंग दैट द 
उनका पीएच कैन बी वेरी वेरी लो इवन लोअर देन फोर पीएच कैन बी फॉर्म सो दे आर सो मच एसिडिक एंड एज यू आर गोइंग टूअर्ड दिस एक्सेसिवली एल्कलाइन सॉइल दीज आर योर सलाइन एंड एल्कलाइन सॉइल्स सलाइन एंड एल्कलाइन सॉइल्स तो दैट इज द सॉइल कंटेंट अब इसको जनरलाइज कर देते हैं अपने पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से हमें क्या याद रखना है इसमें हमें यह याद रखना है कि जो सॉइल होता है उसमें वी विल फाइंड सर्टेन कंटेंट्स एंड व्हाट इज दिस कंटेंट्स दैट वी विल बी फाइंडिंग इन द सॉइल वी विल फाइंड ऑर्गेनिक मैटर ठीक है सॉइल में हमें क्या मिलेगा देर विल बी ऑर्गेनिक मैटर विच विल बी फाउंड इन द सॉइल In the soil, we will also find presence of there is a mineral layer. ठीक है और mainly कौन कौन से हमें colloids इसमें मिलते हैं minerals कौन कौन से मिलेंगे यहां पर We'll find one very important mineral which will be silica. ठीक है Another which will be very commonly finding here will be iron and एल्यूमिनियम ठीक है सो इनके ऑक्साइड्स मिलेंगे हमें दैट इज अनदर वेरी कॉमन मटीरियल दैट यूल बी फाइंडिंग इन द सॉइल्स एंड यू विल ऑल्सो बी फाइंडिंग प्रेजेंस ऑफ बेसिस ठीक है जो अभी हमने देखा कैल्शियम मैग्नीशियम सोडियम पोटासियम सो दीज बेसिस वुड ऑल्सो बी फाउंड सो सॉइल में ऑल दिस कंटेंट वी विल बी फाइंडिंग दिस इज द सॉलिड कंटेंट जो अभी हमने बात किया था दिस इज द सॉलिड विच आर फाउंड इन दॉल विच द सॉइल इज मेड अप ऑफ ठीक है सो ऑर्गेनिक कंटेंट सिलिका आयरन एंड एल्यूमिनियम बेसिस यू मस्ट बी अवेयर जो अर्थ क्रस्ट है ठीक है अर्थ क्रस्ट का कंपोजिशन कुछ ऐसा होता है ऑक्सीजन इज मैक्सिमम जो क्रिस्टल रॉक्स हैं उसमें देर इज सिलिका देर इज एल्यूमिनियम देर इज आयरन एंड देन देर इज मैग्नीशियम ठीक है कैल्शियम ठीक है एक्चुअली इट इज एम उल्टा मैंने कर दिया इसमें सी एम पहले सी होता है फिर तो दीज आर द दिस इज द रॉक्स क्रस्टल रॉक्स का एवरेज कंपोजिशन है ठीक है सॉइल बनते कैसे हैं बाय ब्रेकिंग डाउन ऑफ द क्रस्टल रॉक्स वो ब्रेक हो जाती हैं, वेदर्ड हो जाती हैं, एंड एज द रिजल्ट ऑफ विच देर इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द सॉइल सॉइल्स का फॉर्मेशन होगा दैट इज द थिंग विच इज फाउंड सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड ऑर्गेनिक मैटर जो यहां पर प्लांट्स हैं दे आर लीव एक्सेट्रा आर फॉलोइंग डाउन दे आर सप्लाइंग द ऑर्गेनिक कंटेंट टू द सॉइल प्राइमरली बट जो रॉक्स हैं द क्रस्टल रॉक्स दे आर सप्लाइंग सिलिका अभी देखा हमने सिलिका इज द सेकेंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट देन आयरन एंड एल्यूमिनियम आफ्टर दैट आर द इंपॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट एंड ऑल्सो देर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ द बेसिस एंड दैट इज वाई ऑल दीज कंटेंट वी विल बी फाइंडिंग इन द सॉइल आई होप इट इज क्लियर ठीक है सो ये याद रखना है कि सॉइल में ये सारी चीजें हमें मिलती ठीक है सो सॉइल वॉटर As we have said, it is basically what it is a complex chemical solution. ठीक है So suppose करो कि अगर यहां पर ये water is present, there was precipitation. This water is not seeping through. ठीक है This water is seeping through. Tell me now, is it possible कि ये water ये इनमें से बहुत सारी चीजों को dissolve कर लेगा various content of the soil the most commonly dissolving material will be the basis you know that 
that the water which is falling it is not pure water ye kya hai it is a weak carbonic acid so it will have high solubility property it will dissolve many of these theek hai like for example if temperature is high what will be the solubility of silica it will also become high theek hai high temperature mein silica ki solubility badh jati hai silica becomes soluble so can i say wo bhi dissolve ho sakta hai there are certain things baad mein dekhenge ye plants jo hote hain they can also furnish some chemicals and through that chemical iron and aluminum can also become soluble there can be formation of sesquioxides of iron and aluminum theek hai so essentially the water which is present in the soil it is what it is a complex chemical solution theek hai so it is a dilute solution of such substances such as bicarbonates sulfates chlorides nitrates phosphates and silicates of calcium magnesium potassium sodium and also iron theek hai iron and aluminum sesquioxides can also be present in theek hai so that is basically the case of the soil water which is found theek hai so all these are the important characteristics of the soil ab soil ki ek aur important characteristic hoti hai and what is this important characteristic of the soil it is that what we call it as soil profile soil profile so what is essentially a soil soil is made up of several soil horizons which are kept one over the other theek okay? hai so this section of the soil where there is horizons which are kept one over the other it is referred to as what it is soil profile theek okay? hai so what essentially is a soil profile इसको लिख लो एक लाइन सॉइल प्रोफाइल इट रेफर्स टू अस अ कॉलम ऑफ सॉइल इट रेफर्स टू अ कॉलम ऑफ सॉइल वेयर वेयर सेवरल सॉइल होराइजन सेवरल सॉइल होराइजन आर सुपर इंपोज ओवर ईच अदर are superimposed over each other theek hai so such a column is referred to as soil profile now iska matlab hai soil profile kisse bana hota hai several soil horizons horizons ka matlab yahan par kya hai layers theek hai horizons here mean here means layer so if we talk about a soil ek ideal soil profile ki baat karte hain kisi soil ki theek hai an ideal soil profile theek hai so in an ideal soil profile we will be finding number of things to be present so the topmost layer in general will be it is referred to as o horizon o horizon different books can give different names to each of these horizons theek hai inke alag alag naam ho sakte hain we'll use just one classification one terminology o o se matlab this is which horizon organic horizon here there will be dominance of organic matter organic horizon theek hai organic horizon mein bhi hame dikhai padenge bahut sare theek hai there will be in fact it is possible that it can be divided into three sub layers three sub layers one is o0 
O1 and O2, O0, O1 and O2. So O0 क्या है? It is undecomposed leaf and litter. लिख लो इसको O0 is the undecomposed leaf and litter. लीफ एंड लिटर एल आई डबल टी आर लीफ लिटर क्या होता है इट इज द पार्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वेजिटेशन विच हैज फॉल एंड डाउन ठीक है सो अनडीकम्पोज लीफ एंड लिटर सो यू माइट हैव सीन अगर मैं कहीं पर भी जाऊं इज इट पॉसिबल कि मुझे दिखाई पड़ेगा बहुत सारी पत्तियां गिरी पड़ी है ठीक है सो दैट लेयर which is present where the leaves can still be seen properly and they have not been decomposed that upper layer is is referred to as o0 okay so tell me can i say ki ho sakta hai kahin par milega kahin par nahi milega particularly where there is presence of trees can i say we will be finding there will be presence of o0 layer wahan par milega but where there is no trees like for example If I go in an agricultural field, वहां पर कोई पेड़ नहीं है कैन आई से कि वहां पर आई नॉट फाइंड ओ जीरो लेब इट विल बी एबसेंट ठीक है सो दैट इज ओ जीरो ओ वन इज पार्शली डीकम्पोज लीफ एंड लेटर पार्शली डीकम्पोज लीफ एंड लेटर ठीक है एंड ओ टू इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इज ह्यूमस लेयर इट इज द ह्यूमस लेयर इट इज द मेन ऑर्गेनिक लेयर सो इट इज द ह्यूमस लेयर हियर वॉट इज हैपन फुल डीकम्पोजिशन हैज टेक इन प्लेस देखेंगे इस प्रोसेस को बोलते हैं ह्यूमिफिकेशन सो एंटर ह्यूमिफिकेशन हैज टेक इन प्लेस ड्यू टू विच द लीफ एंड लेटर हैज बीन कन्वर्टेड टू ह्यूमस ठीक है सो दैट इज एसेंशियली द ऑर्गेनिक कंटेंट अब मैंने यहां पर आइडियल केस में ऐसा आप दिखा दिया है कि ओ लेयर इज वेरी सेपरेट फ्रॉम द लोअर लेयर बट टेल मी कैन आई से कि ये वही लेयर है जहां पर बहुत सारे माइक्रोब्स रहते हैं लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल द अर्थ वॉर्म्स एंड इज इट पॉसिबल कि अर्थ वॉर्म्स जो होंगे विल दे ट्रेवल इन बिटवीन एंड एज अ रिजल्ट कैन आई से इट इज वेरी कॉमन we found that o will not be found separately like this is it possible that it can be mixed with the lower layers theek hai but yaad rakhna what word we have used ideal case we are talking theek hai so this is the o layer then after that we find that there is presence of what there is presence of a layer or a horizon and if you talk about the a horizon a horizon is the it is the mineral horizon <clears throat> it is the mineral horizon theek okay. hai so if we talk about the a horizon it is the mineral horizon it is also the horizon from where lots of leaching and alluvation has taken place isko likh lo abhi thodi der mein samajh mein aayega it is the horizon from where maximum it is the horizon from where maximum leaching and alluvation maximum leaching and alluvation has taken place ठीक है लीचिंग एंड एलुविएशन बेसिकली क्या होता है अभी हमने बात किया था इफ वॉटर इज सीपिंग थ्रू व्हाट विल हैपन मेनी ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स विल गेट डिजोल्व इन द वॉटर एंड विल दे आल्सो सीप थ्रू अलोंग विद द वॉटर वॉटर के साथ चले जाएंगे इज इट पॉसिबल कि मेनी ऑफ द मैटर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द सॉइल इट इज वेरी वेरी फाइन क्ले मैटर तो कैन आई से इवन इफ इट इज नॉट गेटिंग डिजोल्व then also it can be carried by the water 
ये सोनो वॉटर के साथ वो भी जा सकता है तो जब वो डिजोल्व फॉर्म में जाता है दैट इज द फिनोमिना जिसको हम बोलते हैं लीचिंग वेन इट इज गोइंग अनडिजोल्व इट इज रेफर टू एस एलुविएशन ठीक है सो ये बोथ द प्रोसेस एसेंशियली मीन वॉट दैट देर इज लॉस ऑफ सॉइल मैटर तो देर इज लॉस ऑफ सॉइल मैटर फ्रॉम दिस ए लेर ठीक है समटाइम्स एज द रिजल्ट ऑफ विच इट इज ऑल्सो रेफर टू एज वॉट इट इज रेफर टू एज एलुवियल लेयर लिख लो इसको समटाइम्स एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ विच इट इज ऑल्सो रेफर्ड इट इज ऑल्सो रेफर्ड टू एज द एलुवियल लेयर ठीक है इलुवियल दिस इज इलुवियल आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इलुवियल लेयर ठीक है तो दैट मीन्स मैक्सिमम लॉस यहां से हो रहा है और इसलिए अगर यहां से लॉस हो रहा है वट विल बी द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ ए कैन आई से इन जनरल लॉस किसका होगा कैन आई से इट विल बी ऑफ द फाइन पार्टिकल्स विल बी लॉस्ट मैक्सिमम फ्रॉम दिस लेयर दैट मीन्स ए का जो टेक्स्चर होगा वो कैसा हो जाएगा विल इट बिकम अ कोर्ट कोर्स टेक्स्चर लेयर ठीक है सो वट वी विल बी फाइंडिंग layer a becomes coarse textured it is coarse textured layer theek hai kahin kahin par kuch books mein kya karte hain they will separate a layer just for the purpose of simplification ke ke chakkar mein what they will do they'll separate this a layer with another layer they will say e layer ठीक है, सो दे सेपरेटली से ई लेयर विच इज द एलुवियल लेयर बट ऐसा प्रैक्टिकली ऐसा नहीं होता है इट इज द एंटायर ई ए लेयर दैट इज द मिनरल लेयर विच इज एक्सपीरियंसिंग द फिनोमिना ऑफ एलुविएशन ठीक है सो समाइम्स ए लेयर इज ऑल्सो रेफर टू एज वॉट एलुवियल लेयर ओके नाउ टेल मी यहां से जो मटीरियल लॉस हो रहा है इज इट पॉसिबल दैट दिस मटीरियल कैन बी डिपोजिटेड इन द लोअर पार्ट बिकॉज सॉइल कैसा है छन्नी की तरह ठीक है सो अल्टीमेटली इट इज बींग फिल्टर्ड आउट इज फिल्टरिंग प्रोसेस टेकिंग प्लेस एंड द मटीरियल विच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम एब इट कैन बी डिपोजिटेड इन द लोअर लेयर दिस लेयर इज एसेंशली योर बी होराइजन इट इज द बी होराइजन ठीक है एंड दिस बी होराइजन इज रेफर टू एज the illuvial layer it is referred to as the illuvial layer this one was the illuvial you can understand dono mein difference hai ek mein e hai aur ek mein kya hai आई ठीक है सो एलुवियल ई दैट मीन्स एम टी दैट मीन्स इट इज गोइंग आउट आई इलुवियल इट मीन्स कमिंग इन ठीक है सो यू रिमेंबर इट लाइक दिस सो इलुवियल लेयर दैट मीन्स इलुवियल लेयर इज द लेयर वेयर देर इज डिपोजिशन ऑफ सॉइल मटीरियल टेकिंग प्लेस इट इज द लेयर इन विच deposition of soil material is taking place theek okay. hai so tell me which which material was lost from above was it the fine material theek okay. hai does it means that this layer can have excess of finer particles theek okay. hai this layer will have excess of finer particles finer particles of the soil theek hai so tell me agar isme finer particles ye to pehle se hi yahan par material present tha aur finer particles isme deposit ho ja rahe hain iska matlab kya hua can i say 
कि सपोज ये लेयर था जिसमें वी आर फाइंडिंग कि ऐसे पहले से पार्टिकल्स थे नाउ वॉट इज टेकिंग प्लेस द फाइनर पार्टिकल्स आर गेटिंग डिपॉजिटेड हेयर स्पेसिस में ही तो डिपॉजिट होंगे ये सो नो तो दे आर गेटिंग डिपॉजिटेड हेयर लाइक दिस does it means that it is possible that if this phenomena takes place excessively is it possible ki ye layer impermeable ban sakta hai yes or no this layer can become sometimes it can become impermeable theek hai to baad mein dekhenge ki it is this layer in which we will be finding presence of hard pans to likhna chahte ho to likh bhi sakte ho it is in this layer it is in this layer the formation of hard pans hard pans takes place the formation of hard pans takes place which can make the soil impermeable ठीक है सो दिस इज द मेन सॉइल लेयर ठीक है सो दीज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट टुगेदर दे आर ऑल्सो रेफर टू एज द सोलम दे आर ऑल्सो रेफर टू एज द सोलम और द ट्रू सॉइल ठीक है इट इज एसेंशियली द ट्रू सॉइल इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ओ एंड ए दीज आर टुगेदर रेफर टू एज द टॉप सॉइल दीज आर टुगेदर रेफर टू एज द टॉप सॉइल एंड वॉट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फिनोमिना टेकिंग प्लेस इन द टॉप सॉइल लीचिंग एंड एलुविएशन इट इज दिस लेयर विच इज एक्सपीरियंसिंग the phenomena of leaching and elubiation the lower soil that is the b horizon it is experiencing the phenomena of elubiation theek hai iske niche if you talk about below this we find that there is the c layer or c horizon सी होराइजन इट इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द ट्रू सॉइल सी होराइजन मतलब कैन यू सी दिस पार्ट दिस इज एसेंशियली द सी होराइजन तो सी होराइजन क्या है बेसिकली सी होराइजन इज द पार्शली वेदर्ड पैरेंट मटीरियल इट कंटेन्स पार्शली वेदर्ड weathered parent material i ho hope all of you know what is weathering phenomena weathering kya hota hai it is the in situ breakdown of the rocks so agar kahin pe koi rock padi hui hai over a period of time what will happen it will break down there itself that is the phenomena of weathering weathering do tarike ka ho sakta hai chemical and physical biological weathering will be either physical biological weathering बायोफिजिकल वेदरिंग जिसे बोलते हैं या फिर इट विल बी बायो केमिकल वेदरिंग सो बेसिकली देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ वेदरिंग फिजिकल एंड केमिकल वेदरिंग ठीक है सो हियर वॉट इज हैपन इट इज पार्शली वेदर्ड रॉक्स विच आर प्रेजेंट सो टेक्निकली स्पीकिंग दे आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द ट्रू सॉइल दे विल बिकम पार्ट ऑफ दू ट्रू सॉइल लेटर ऑन एज द प्रोसेस कंटिन्यूस ठीक है वेन दे विल बिकम फुल्ली वेदर्ड then only they will become part of the soil theek okay? hai so over a period of time the b horizon can expand theek okay? hai so that is basically what we are talking about is the c horizon that is the partially weathered parent material and below this is the parent material is the parent material the rocks which have not been at all weathered 
ठीक है तो दिस इज द सॉइल प्रोफाइल एन आइडियल केस सॉइल प्रोफाइल ठीक है और पढ़ेंगे बाद में सॉइल प्रोफाइल के बारे में जब हम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सॉइल्स की बात करेंगे तो वी विल फर्दर लुक इन टू वॉट टाइप ऑफ सॉइल प्रोफाइल्स वुड बी देयर ठीक है एक और चीज जस्ट बिफोर आई कंटिन्यू वेन आई एम सेइंग दैट बी इज द होराइजन इलूवियल होराइजन इज द होराइजन वेर देर इज डिपोजिशन ऑफ मटीरियल टेकिंग प्लेस तो रिमेंबर हमें एक चीज करनी है कि एक तरीका डिपोजिशन ऑफ मटीरियल क्या हो सकता है मटीरियल इज कमिंग फ्रॉम एब टू डाउन ठीक है अनदर वे इन विच इट कैन टेक प्लेस इज सपोज यहां पर देर इज द फिनोमिना ऑफ कैपुलरी एक्शन टेकिंग प्लेस सो वॉटर थ्रू कैपुलरी एक्शन इज राइडिंग राइजिंग थ्रू द स्पेसिस विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द सॉइल एंड इज इट पॉसिबल कि ये बी ये होता है कि बी लेयर तक पहुंचते पहुंचते दिस वॉटर विल इवेपोरेट तो एज इट इवेपोरेट वॉट विल हैपन can i say it will leave behind the salts which were dissolved in this water okay so those salts of the bases they will get deposited again where in the b layer okay so ye jo deposition ho sakta hai ye dono tarike se ho sakta hai it can be result of the material coming from above or it can also be result of capillary action okay so you remember this one. ओके, सो दैट इज द केस ऑफ सॉइल प्रोफाइल ठीक है नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द फैक्टर्स बिकॉज नाउ वी हैव टू स्टडी द सॉइल फॉर्मेशन वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द सॉइल एंड अ जनरल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द प्रोफाइल मैंने ये नहीं बोला मैंने ये बोला आई हैव टोल्ड यू आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट इट हैज बिकम इम्परमिबल आई एम सेइंग दैट इन एक्सट्रीम केसेस वेयर देर इज एक्सेसिव फिनोमिना टेकिंग प्लेस सच फिनोमिना आर टेकिंग प्लेस इन दैट केस इट कैन बिकम इम्परमिबल ओके सो दैट वाज एक्सेप्शनल केस वी आर नॉट सेइंग एवरीवेयर हार्ड पैन अगर हर जगह हार्ड पैन हो जाएगा तो सॉइल विल बिकम इम्परमिबल एवरीवेयर कैपलरी एक्शन इज बेसिकली वॉट सपोज इट विल कम यार अभी विल टॉक अबाउट द प्रोसेस देर आई एक्सप्लेन आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू द आइडिया दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट डिपोजिशन कैन नॉट ओनली बी फ्रॉम अबव डिपोजिशन कैन ऑल्सो बी फ्रॉम बिलो ठीक है ओके इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द फैक्टर्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सॉइल फॉर्मेशन एंड सॉइल फॉर्मेशन में हमें दो चीजें पढ़नी है प्रोसेसिस एंड द फैक्टर्स तो सबसे पहले फैक्टर्स से स्टार्ट करते हैं फैक्टर्स कंट्रोलिंग सॉइल फॉर्मेशन तो नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर्स आर देयर one important factor is we simply we can call them as the active soil forming factors active soil forming factor so there are two active soil forming factors one it is climate and second if you talk about is the biota second is the biota so active soil forming factors these are actively involved if they are involved if it is their involvement we will find that the soil formation will डिस्प्ले कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ बींग जोनल बड़े बड़े जोन में सॉइल का फॉर्मेशन होगा ठीक है सो अगर याद है यू मस्ट बी ऑल्सो अवेयर वी हैव सीन वेरियस क्लाइमेटिक जोन विच आर फाउंड इन द वर्ल्ड जीरो टू टेन देर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ ट्रॉपिकल रेन फॉरेस्ट 
then 10 to 30 here there is presence of monsoon here there is presence of savanna and here there is presence of deserts tropical subtropical deserts then here there is presence of china type there is presence of steppe and there is presence of mediterranean here there is presence of laurentian here there is presence of taiga and here there is presence of british type or west european type then there is tundra and ice ठीक है, so this is what we are talking about. इसका मतलब सीधी बात है कि अगर climate dominant factor बन जाएगा, in that case climate and biota, in that case each type will have their own type of soil. ठीक है, like हम देखेंगे जहाँ पर tropical rainforest और monsoon climates होते हैं, यहाँ पर क्या हो रहा है? There is hot and humid climates found. So hot and humid climates में we will be finding there will be formation of red soils ठीक है there will be places which is like semi arid so, so savanna mein dekhenge it is a degraded type of red soil which is grumosols here obviously there will be desert soils which will be found ठीक है china and mediterranean type these are transitional type of climates ठीक है if you talk about steppe there will be black soils ठीक है here, if you talk about, there will be different type of podzol soils which will be found. So again, each if there is the dominance of the factor of climate, then what will be finding? If their dominance is there, we'll find that there will be formation of zonal soil. ठीक है? बाद में correlate करेंगे climate के साथ soil को. So there is active soil forming. Factors. Then there is passive soil forming factors. Passive soil forming factors. So, if you talk about the passive soil forming factors, there are three basically which can play important role in the soil formation and some places they can also dominate okay like one very important is the parent material parent material then if you talk about another one is topography is topography ठीक है so जैसा कि मैंने बताया कि अगर ये दोनों dominate करेंगे तो which type of soil will be formed zonal type of soils will be formed if these are dominating if these dominate these two dominate then देखेंगे intra zonal Type of soils will be formed. ठीक है? तो intrazonal soils होते हैं। कुछ दो तरीके के zones हम देखेंगे, dry zones and humid zones. ठीक है? So intrazonal soils will be the soils which will be either associated with dry zones or they will be associated with humid zones. That is why we are saying intrazonal. एक zone के अंदर certain unique type of soil, but they will always be associated with particular zones like for example think जो soil होगा there some places we can find organic soil जिसमें organic content बहुत ज़्यादा है ठीक है तो क्या नहीं सही कि organic content तभी बहुत ज़्यादा होगा जब oxygen less environment है 
when the biological activity has become very less ठीक है और ऑक्सीजन लेस एनवायरमेंट कहां पर होगा कैन आई से वॉटर लॉग एरियाज में वेर देर इज स्वैम्पी कंडीशन फाउंड सो कैन आई से सच टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक सॉइल्स दे आर इंट्राजोनल सॉइल्स एंड दे विल ऑलवेज बी एसोसिएटेड विथ विच टाइप ऑफ जोन यूमिड जोन ठीक है अदर टाइप ऑफ इंट्राजोनल सॉइल्स लाइक सलाइन अल्कलाइन सॉइल्स होते हैं जहां पर एक्सेसिव डिपोजिशन ऑफ सॉल्ट हो जाता है तो दे आर ऑल्सो अ टाइप ऑफ इंट्राजोनल सॉइल्स और सॉल्ट का एक्सेसिव डिपोजिशन कैसे होगा इट विल बी थ्रू कैपिलरी एक्शन कैपिलरी एक्शन कहां पर डोमिनेट करेगा इन ड्राई जोन ठीक है सो दैट इज वाई वी आर कॉलिंग दम एज इंट्रा जोनल सो दीज सॉल्स विल बी ऑलवेज एसोसिएटेड विथ अ पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ जोन ठीक है सो अगर ये दोनों डोमिनेट कर रहे हैं सॉइल फॉर्मेशन में देन वॉट टाइप ऑफ सॉइल्स वुड बी फॉर्म इंट्रा जोनल सॉइल्स वुड बी फॉर्म There is also a fifth factor यहां पर लिख देता हूं and this fifth fifth factor is the factor of time time ठीक है so it is also among the passive soil forming factors ठीक है time की अगर हम बात करें if there is time becomes the major factor in soil formation then what type of soils would be formed एजोनल सॉइल्स दैट मीन्स अ टाइप ऑफ सॉइल विच विल बी नॉट एसोसिएटेड विथ एनी जोन ठीक है सो दीज आर द फाइव फैक्टर्स दैट वी आई हैव टू रिमेंबर ओके एक एक करके बात करते हैं सबसे पहले बात करते हैं क्लाइमेट वॉट एवर आई एम स्पीकिंग इट इज रिटर्न इन द मटीरियल so i'll just show you so you can see climate biotic factors etc etc everything is written i'll just explain sabse pehle baat karte hain climate ki so you can understand climate can both directly as well as indirectly affect soil formation theek hai so climate ka jo influence hai we can see this influence directly and indirectly इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ क्लाइमेट कैन बी इन डायरेक्ट मैनर एंड इन डायरेक्ट मैनर ठीक है सो टेल मी डायरेक्टली द क्लाइमेट कैन इन्फ्लुएंस द सॉइल फॉर्मेशन इन मेनी वेज लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली कैन वी से क्लाइमेट डज इट इन्फ्लुएंस द टाइप एंड रेट ऑफ वेदरिंग ठीक है इट इज द क्लाइमेट वॉट इट डज इट इंफ्लुएंसेस the type and rate of weathering type and the rate of weathering phenomena theek hai like for example think can i say ki tundra jo area hai yahan pe hamesha thanda rehta hai it is always cold throughout the year so if it is always cold throughout the year can i say here chemical weathering will be almost negligible because chemical processes ko work karne ke liye some temperature is required so here chemical weathering will be almost negligible physical weathering will be the main phenomena but yahan par range of temperature bhi kaisa hai the range of temperature is not very high theek hai yani ki physical weathering will also be slow process here ठीक है बट वेन आई एम गोइंग टूअर्ड स्टैगा कैन आई से यहां पर चेंज ऑफ टेम्परेचर हो रहा है ठीक है सो दैट मीन्स यहां पर क्या होगा देर विल बी मोर फिजिकल वेदरिंग टेकिंग प्लेस 
there will be some chemical weathering which will be taking place. As you go towards British type, Laurentian type, here the range of temperature has become quite higher, particularly towards Laurentian. So, here what we will be finding physical weathering will become excessive and what will happen? There will be some chemical weathering taking place. On the contrary, if I go to tropical rainforest, can I say that here the physical weathering will be very low? Hardly because range of temperature यहाँ पर क्या होता है? It is very low. पूरे साल यहाँ पर गर्म रहता है. 27 degree Celsius is the average temperatures, annual average temperatures. Range of temperature, annual range of temperature, two to five degree Celsius ही vary कर रहा है. Within a year, that means throughout the year what you are finding that this area will be warm. So यहाँ पर physical weathering will be what? It will be a very slow process. Main process क्या होगा? Chemical weathering will be the main process which will be taking place here. Okay. So, very clearly what we find that the climate directly determines the soil formation by determining the type and the rate of weathering phenomena. Okay. As you can understand, it is the weathering which furnishes the inorganic content to the soil. Okay. So, it is the weathering of the parent rocks, it is the weathering of the parent rocks which furnishes the inorganic content furnishes the inorganic content to the soil. Okay. So, tell me will the rate and type of weathering, will it also determine other characteristics of the soil like the soil texture? Yes or no? Agar chemical weathering jada hogi, does it means that in such area, the texture of the soil should be finer? If there is more physical weathering taking place, that means in those areas kya hoga? Texture of the soil will be coarser. So, Again, weathering will also determine what? The texture of the soil. Okay. So, climate very clearly kya kar raha? It is directly determining the weathering process and thus it is determining the inorganic content of the soil. Okay. Indirectly, kaise determine kar raha? Hmm. Can I say indirectly, can it determine the soil formation through vegetation? Yes or no? Climate vegetation ko determine karta hai aur vegetation soil formation ko determine karega. Okay. So, indirectly it determines through vegetation, indirectly it determines through vegetation. Okay. We know that vegetations are basically what they are manifestation of the climates. So, that is how the climate essentially would determine. Ab jab main exam mein suppose isko likh raunga, to again you can understand that without examples it will not work. Theke? So, like for example, agar mujhe direct influence ka example dena hota, abhi humne diya, where there is domination of chemical weathering, what will happen? There will be fine textured soils formed. fine textured soils will be formed. Okay, like very good example is the black soil of Maharashtra plateau. In that black soil of Maharashtra plateau, basalt is a rock which is highly susceptible to chemical weathering process. Okay, so there what we find the texture becomes very fine. Where there is presence of only physical weathering where there is presence of physical weathering which is dominating, we find that there will be coarse textured 
soils would be formed. Coarse textured soils would be essentially formed. Like very commonly, you will be finding in mountainous areas, foot slopes of the mountains, we will be finding that there will be presence of such coarse textured soils. Okay. Indirectly, if we give examples, then we will examples aayenge later on. Just for the sake of writing here, you can talk about, like for example, if you look into the temperate, temperate regions, what we will be finding? We will find that there will be presence of coniferous trees and these coniferous trees, presence of these coniferous trees would lead to formation of Hot zone soils. Okay. So, they can So, that is it is determining directly and indirectly. Or we tarike se climate influence kar sakta like directly agar hum dekhe direct me tell me can the climate also determine the soil presence of soil by determining other factors like erosion. Yes or no? This area may erosion jada ho raha hoga. Can I say their soil erosion will also take place? And what will be the type of soil layer which will be found? It would again be found, very thin soil layer would be found. Okay. So, ek to tarika hai, it is determining the phenomena of weathering. Okay. But it can also determine other processes directly. Mein agar mein likho. So, it can also determine other processes like erosion and deposition other processes like erosion and deposition so where there is excessive erosion taking place can i say there the soil will be lost okay soil degradation will be the phenomena which will be taking place but there can be certain areas where deposition can be very very dominant phenomena like tell me can we talk about the flood plains? Flood plains mein kya hota? India ke flood plains mein or anywhere in the valleys where the floods are coming. Do we find a special type of soil, alluvial soil? Take it. So again, there's the deposition phenomena becomes the dominant phenomenon. Take it. So very clearly, if you talk about that is the role of climate. Take it. Then biota ki baat karte. So, what essentially biota does? Biota basically it furnishes the organic content to the soil. It furnishes the organic content to the soil. Okay. So, what it is doing? It is providing or adding that organic content to the soil. And again, you can understand it would determine variety of type of characteristics of the soil thus. Okay. So, ek cheez, pehle ek ek karke baat karte. what it is doing? It is one we are saying it is adding organic content. to the soil number one of ye jo organic content which is being added it would determine variety of properties of the soil okay so tell me is it possible that this organic content would determine the structure of the soil yes or no will it determine the structure of the soil Structure kya tha? What was structure? It is those lumps or pets which the particles of the soil form and what was one of the most important binding agent? It was the organic matter. Take it. So, it is very clearly determining the structure of the soil. Can it determine other things? Like for example, 
can it also determine the ph of the soil abhi humne kya dekha tha did we saw colloid material colloid material do tarike ka tha inorganic and organic so the organic material is essentially the colloidal material which makes the soil acidic so if there is excessive of organic matter can we say such type of soils will be acidic soils ठीक है सो सच सॉइल्स वुड बिकम स्ट्रॉन्गली एसिडिक सॉइल्स सो इट डिटरमाइंस द पीएच वैल्यूज ठीक है अदर थिंग्स इट वुड आल्सो डिटरमाइन द प्रोफाइल ऑफ द सॉइल सो टेल मी बाद में देखेंगे तीन तरीके की प्रोफाइल मिल सकती है हमें आई explain it later in biogeography so like for example there can be more more modern and mul theek hai more mein kya hota hai there is a very clear distinction between the o layer and the a layer theek hai in case of modder there is this is o layer and this is a layer there is still a boundary but there is more mixed transition zone type of boundary in case of mull we find that there is no fixed O and A are mixed into each other. ठीक है तो tell me, does it tells me more में the micro microbial activity is very limited? Yes or no? So यहां पर basically क्या हो रहा है Earth worms etc. they are not so much active. If the earth worms etc. these microbes are very active, what they will do? They will mix. they will travel between these layers and they will mix them theek okay? hai here there is some activity here there is very high activity which is taking place theek okay? hai so again it is determined by what it is determined by the biological processes theek okay? hai so it is the biota which determine also plays an important role in the determining the profile of the soil theek okay? hai so that is it is adding the organic content to the soil can it also determine the or uh, can it also have an impact on the inorganic content it can also have an impact on the inorganic content through the process of biological weathering theek okay? hai so likh sakte ho isko through the biological weathering process it can also impact the texture through the biological weathering process it can also impact the texture of the soil texture of the soil theek okay. hai so that is the the case लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल अभी हमने एक एग्जाम्पल दिया था सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग देखेंगे टेम्परेट एरिया जो होते हैं जहां पर कॉनिफरस फॉरेस्ट मिलते हैं तो कॉनिफरस ट्रीज में देर इज अ केमिकल इन देर लीव्स एंड बाद में इसको लिखेंगे दिस केमिकल इज रेफर टू एस चिलेट्स तो वॉट हैपन्स वेन द लीव फॉल डाउन द चिलेट्स आर रिलीज इन टू द सॉइल एंड दीज चिलेट्स they will combine chemically with the iron and aluminium of the soil and what they will do they will make they lead to formation of soluble sesqui oxides of iron and aluminium and thus what will happen there will be the leaching phenomena becoming very very active and usme se iron and aluminium nikal jayega there will be excess of silica which will be left and there will be formation of the podzol soils theek okay? hai so that is an example which tells us about that how it can perform either the uh, phenomena of 
बायो फिजिकल वेदरिंग और बायो केमिकल वेदरिंग एंड दस इट कैन डू वॉट इट कैन इंप्रूव द टेक्स्चर ऑफ द सॉइल एंड अफेक्ट अदर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सॉइल ठीक है सो दैट इज एसेंशियली द रोल ऑफ बायोटा इन डिटरमाइनिंग द सॉइल फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज क्लाइमेट एंड बायोटा पर्टिकुलरली द वेजिटेशन दे आर इंटर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर दस इफ देर इज डोमिनेंस ऑफ दीज टू वॉट विल हैपन देर विल बी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ जोनल सॉइल्स एज वी सेड देर बी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ जोनल सॉइल्स बट समाइम्स अदर फैक्टर्स द पैसिव फैक्टर्स कैन ऑल्सो बिकम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है सो पैसिव फैक्टर्स की बात करें तो वन इंपॉर्टेंट पैसिव फैक्टर इज द पेरेंट मटीरियल वन इंपॉर्टेंट पैसिव फैक्टर इज द पेरेंट मटीरियल ठीक है सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट इज द वेदरिंग ऑफ द पेरेंट मटीरियल which provides the inorganic content to the soil so it is the weathering of the parent material which provides inorganic content to the soil it is the weathering of the parent material which provides the inorganic content to the soil okay so tell me does it means that the type of parent material will it determine the chemical properties of the soil yes or no so the type thus the type of parent material determines the nutrient present in the soil thus the type of parent material determines the nutrients and other chemical properties of the soil ठीक है सो सपोज करो कि सॉइल ऐसी रॉक पर बन रहा है जो बहुत ज्यादा हार्ड है लाइक यू नो वन ऑफ द हार्डेस्ट टाइप्स ऑफ रॉक्स आर मेटामॉर्फिक रॉक्स सो सपोज देर इज अ वेरी हार्ड मेटामॉर्फिक रॉक्स रेफर टू एज नाइस ठीक है सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द नाइस रॉक्स कैन आई से दैट इन दैट केस द वेदरिंग प्रोसेस विल बी स्लो ठीक है so if the weathering process is slow does it very clearly means that the soil layer will be thin or there will be presence of coarse textured soil gravelly soils can also be found in that case so again it is very important determining factor sometimes the significance of the parent material can become so much high in the formation of soil that the soils can be named after the parent like for example one type of soils we will see are the calcimorphic soils theek hai calcimorphic soils iska matlab kya hai in soils mein calcium zyada hota hai theek hai so that means they will be formed over which type of rocks which will have high calcium content like limestone theek hai so likh sakte hai usko sometimes this influence of parent material becomes so much high that the soils are named after the parent material <clears throat> example is the calcimorphic soils calcimorphic soils theek hai to dekhenge ki parent material plays a very important role agar climate dominating hai to whatever be the type of parent material theek hai over a period of time there will be the zonal soils which will be formed but within the zones some places can be dominated by the 
parent material and there we will be finding that the intrazonal soils can be formed. Then the fourth if you talk about is topography. Topography, fourth factor, the second passive factor is topography. So, when we are talking about the topography, various aspects of topography which includes the altitude, slope, aspect, all of these affect the soil formation. So, altitude, slope and aspect. So, altitude you can understand, can I say in the highland areas, can we find that there can be here tropical climates, take it as you go there can be subtropical, there can be temperate, subalpine, alpine, take it. So, tell me can I say ki these are the climatic zones and each of these climatic zones will they lead to formation of their own type of soils, take it. So, again we can find that for example, jab mein temperate or subalpine mein ja raha hon. here very commonly what we will be finding, there will be presence of, here we will be finding there will be presence of pot zone soils. Pot zone soils can be found, take it. So, dekhenge abhi, you can very clearly understand how altitude will determine can we say altitude determines the climate, altitude determines the climate, as a result it determines the soil formation. Altitude determines the climate due to which it determines the soil formation. Okay. स्लोप की अगर बात करें उससे पहले मैं एस्पेक्ट भी समझा देता हूं फिर स्लोप पे आते हैं एस्पेक्ट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इट वुड आल्सो डिटरमाइन द क्लाइमेट तो लिख लो एस्पेक्ट आल्सो डिटरमाइंस द क्लाइमेट व्हाट इज एस्पेक्ट एस्पेक्ट एसेंशियली मींस द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द स्लोप एस्पेक्ट इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द स्लोप So, the direction of the slope will also determine the climate. For example, suppose we are in the northern hemisphere, this is equator, this is 30 degree, here is a mountain. Okay. So, this is northern hemisphere. So, tell me, can we say this is the southern slopes of the mountains? These are the northern slopes of the mountains. Will the southern slopes receive sunlight, direct sunlight, while the northern slopes they will not receive direct sunlight? Yes or no? Okay, they will never receive direct sunlight, only diffuse sunlight would be received. So, will it affect the climate and the weathering processes? Obviously, yes. Okay. Or think about this another way. Suppose this is a mountain and this is the sea. So, the winds which will be going from here, will they rise over this mountain and will they cause here precipitation? Okay. So, the direction of the slope will it determine the formation of windward slope and the leeward slopes? Okay. So, again what it is doing? It is determining the climate. So, aspect and altitude they will determine the 
क्लाइमेटिक टाइप एंड दस दे विल डिटरमाइन द सॉइल फॉर्मेशन ठीक है स्लोप एंगल की बात करें ठीक है इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द स्लोप एंगल तो देर कैन बी वराइटी ऑफ टाइप ऑफ स्लोप एंगल्स लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन टाइप ऑफ स्लोप एंगल इज स्टीप टू वेरी स्टीप स्लोप एंगल ठीक है so when there is presence of steep to very steep type of slope angle like this one tell me yahan par weathering hoga if there is weathering taking place can i say the weathered material cannot be retained on the slope yes or no weathered material will be going down under influence of gravity which is mass wasting theek hai so what will be the characteristic of the soil which will be found here will they be very thin ठीक है, दे विल बी एसेंशियली थिन सॉइल्स थिन प्रोफाइल ऑफ द सॉइल्स विल बी फाउंड अंडर डेवलप्ड थिन प्रोफाइल सॉइल्स वुड बी फाउंड ठीक है ऑन द अदर हैंड इफ द स्लोप एंगल इज डिफेक्टिव डिफेक्टिव का मतलब क्या होता है फ्लैट If the slope angle is defective or flat, tell me. If it is flat, is it possible that there can be water logging? ठीक है. In such type of slopes, there can be phenomena of water logging. And if there is water logging, as we have seen, it will create anaerobic conditions, less oxygen conditions. ठीक है. so here what will happen there will be water logging which will essentially create anaerobic conditions and again you can understand anaerobic conditions would determine the type of soil formed like humne dekha tha if such anaerobic conditions are there can we say the color of the soil can become grayish bluish theek hai there can be formation of organic soil theek hai inko soils ko bolte hain peaty soil peat can be formed in these areas because of collection of excessive amount of organic matter theek hai so if you talk about the type of the slope the angle of the slope is also determining factor that means topography if you talk about also plays a role in determining the soil formation theek okay? hai finally coming to time the fifth factor time so tell me can we say that the time period for which the soil forming processes have operated will it also determine the type of soil the characteristics of the soil theek hai so the time period for which the soil forming processes have operated the soil forming processes have operated will also determine the characteristics of the soil ठीक है, सो टेल मी इफ द टाइम पीरियड इज एनफ इफ द टाइम पीरियड हैज बीन एनफ सॉइल फॉर्मिंग प्रोसेसेस हैव ऑपरेटेड फॉर लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम डज इट मींस दैट देयर विल बी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इधर जोनल और इंट्राजोनल सॉइल्स ठीक है सो इफ द टाइम पीरियड हैज बीन एनफ और लॉन्ग पीरियड देन देयर विल बी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इधर जोनल और intrazonal soil but what if the time period has been short that means the soil that will be formed it will be a zone that means not belonging to any 
पर्टिकुलर क्लाइमेटिक जोन ठीक है सो टाइम इज डिटरमाइनिंग पैसिवली इट इज बिकमिंग अ फैक्टर बिकॉज इट अल्टीमेटली डिटरमाइंस द लॉन्गर द सॉइल फॉर्मिंग प्रोसेस हैव ऑपरेटेड ठीक है तो दीज आर द फाइव फैक्टर्स विच आर डिटरमाइनिंग द सॉइल फॉर्मेशन नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज सॉइल फॉर्मिंग प्रोसेस ठीक है सॉइल फॉर्मिंग प्रोसेसेस तो अगर सॉइल फॉर्मिंग प्रोसेसेस की बात करें तो देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ सॉइल फॉर्मिंग प्रोसेसेस द सॉइल फॉर्मिंग प्रोसेसेस कैन बी ब्रॉडली कैटेगराइज इन टू टू कैटेगरीज इनको हम अलग अलग बात कर रहे हैं बट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि ये दोनों साइमल्टेनियसली चलते रहे ठीक है सो दे कैन बी ब्रॉडली कैटेगराइज इन टू टू कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट वॉट हैपन्स इट इज रिलेटेड विथ कलेक्शन ऑफ द सॉइल मटीरियल ठीक है फर्स्ट इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ सॉइल मटीरियल ठीक है सेकेंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इज द डिफरेंशिएशन of soil horizons that means the formation of soil profile theek hai to sabse pehle collection of the soil material then there is differentiation of the soil horizons so two phenomena are taking place sabse pehle ki baat kare collection or accumulation of soil material so already humne isko dekh liya hai the soil material can be of two type inorganic ho sakta hai and it can also be organic तो टेल मी इनऑर्गेनिक मटीरियल प्राइमरी प्रोसेस क्या है इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ वेदरिंग सो वन वे इज द वेदरिंग प्रोसेस दैट मीन्स अगर एग्जामिनेशन में मुझे सॉइल फॉर्मिंग प्रोसेसेस के बारे में लिखना पड़ता है तो आई विल डिवोट सम स्पेस टू राइट इवन अबाउट वेदरिंग which we will be studying under geomorphology theek hai that is why i am not detailing it here because we will be studying there in more detail so weathering is the main process so do tarike ka weathering hota hai humne dekha physical and chemical weathering process but there can be other ways also in which the organic material can yes, sorry inorganic material can accumulate one very common phenomena is the phenomena of deposition deposition by agents of erosion deposition by agents of erosion so you know various three type of agents of erosion hote hain moving water wind and glacier theek hai so they can also deposit material and thus that can also become part of the soil abhi humne ek example diya tha इंडो गैंजेटिक प्लेन्स में जो गैंजेटिक प्लेन्स हैं दे हैव बीन फॉर्म्ड फ्रॉम डिपोजिशन एवरी ईयर वाई देर आर सो मच फर्टाइल बिकॉज एवरी ईयर द फ्लड्स आर कमिंग एंड दिस फ्लड्स आर रिन्यूइंग द सॉइल ठीक है एंड दैट इंक्रीजेज द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ द सॉइल तो वन वेरी कॉमन वे इज द डिपोजिशन फिनोमिना ठीक है तो डिपोजिशन लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल जब वॉटर के द्वारा डिपोजिशन किया जाता है वेन इट इज डन बाई वॉटर इट इज फ्लड प्लेन्स 
when it is wind which is depositing it is happening where in the lowest planes in the lowest planes okay lowest is a very fine particles which is carried by the winds and deposited so lowest planes when it is done by the glaciers it is referred to as the till planes till planes theek hai so one way it can be done is through deposition other if you talk about it can be simply as a result of accumulation of material accumulation of material through variety of processes through variety of processes like tell me there can be variety of processes like one process is accumulation of volcanic ash if there is volcanism taking place theek okay? hai there will be lots of material which can be thrown in the atmosphere over a period of time what can happen yahan par winds inko dur tak bhi le ja sakti hain theek hai so over a period of time this ash or the volcanic dust would settle and it would become part of the soil theek hai so volcanic ash or dust or tell me have we seen or do we know that every time there is cosmic dust falling theek hai from the solar system so that can also become part of the soil so another example is the cosmic dust theek hai that means there are variety of ways in which this inorganic material can be deposited in the soil can become part of the soil organic matter we have essentially seen it becomes part of the soil through what it is furnished to the soil by vegetation primarily by vegetation and also by fauna so the leaf of vegetation leaf and the other parts litter which is there of the fauna all of this can become what it can become part of the soil okay so through variety of ways there can be collection of the soil material okay ab kya hota hai ki suppose karo ki ek jagah par kahin par soil material yahan par ek layer ban gaya unconsolidated theek hai dono ek sath chalte rehte hain jaisa ki maine bataya ki collection bhi sath mein ho raha differentiation bhi sath mein ho raha बट थिंक करते हैं जस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर द सेक ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग अगर यहां पर मटेरियल कलेक्ट हो गया कैन आई से इट इज पॉसिबल कि यहां से देर इज इनफिल्ट्रेशन ऑफ वाटर टेकिंग प्लेस ठीक है अब इस इनफिल्ट्रेशन ऑफ ऑफ वाटर में बिफोर सपोज जो हमने दो लेयर देखी ए और बी पहले ये दोनों लेयर नहीं थी ठीक है ये केवल एक मटीरियल था इज इट पॉसिबल थ्रू दिस इनफिल्ट्रेशन there will be elevation taking place from elevation taking place from above yes or no and jo material yahan se aa raha hai wo material yahan par lower part mein deposit hone laga theek hai so ye material if it is getting deposited in the lower part does it means now differentiation has taken place between the upper part and the lower part yes or no so this upper part will become a and the lower part will become ठीक है सो ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम देर इज अनदर फिनोमिना विच इज टेकिंग प्लेस एंड दिस फिनोमिना इज द डिफरेंसिएशन ऑफ सॉइल होराइजन ठीक है तो अब बात करते हैं डिफरेंसिएशन ऑफ सॉइल होराइजन की differentiation of soil horizon it will be taking place 
डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द क्लाइमेट ऑफ द प्लेस ठीक है इट विल बी फंक्शन ऑफ द क्लाइमेट ऑफ द प्लेस तो देर विल बी टू टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट्स देर इज ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट्स एंड देर आर ड्राई क्लाइमेट्स इट विल टेक अ डिफरेंट फॉर्म इन ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट्स इट विल टेक अ डिफरेंट फॉर्म इन द ड्राई क्लाइमेट ड्राई के अंदर कौन से आते हैं एरिड एंड सेमी एरिड ठीक है सो विद इन ड्राई वी आर इंक्लूडिंग एरिड एंड सेमी एरिड विद इन ह्यूमिड वी आर इंक्लूडिंग द पर ह्यूमिड ह्यूमिड एंड सब ह्यूमिड ठीक है, सो ह्यूमिड एंड द ड्राई क्लाइमेट्स नाउ वेरी क्लियरली इन ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट्स व्हाट इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ दिस इन ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट्स पोटेंशियल टू इवेपो ट्रांसपेरेशन इज लेस देन प्रिसिपिटेशन In humid climates, the PET potential to evapor transpiration is less than the precipitation. While in dry climates, it is reverse. Here, the potential to evapor transpirate is higher than the precipitation. It is higher than the precipitation. ठीक है दैट मीन्स इन ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट्स व्हाट विल हैपन देर विल बी मोर प्रेसिपिटेशन टेकिंग प्लेस मोर प्रेसिपिटेशन मीन्स व्हाट मोर वाटर इन्फिल्ट्रेशन एंड इन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट्स द डिफरेंशिएशन विल बी टेकिंग प्लेस फ्रॉम एबव टू डाउन ठीक है सो इन ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट्स देर इज ग्रेटर इन्फिल्ट्रेशन ऑफ वॉटर इन ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट्स देर इज ग्रेटर इन्फिल्ट्रेशन ऑफ वॉटर due to which the differentiation occurs in a top down manner differentiation occurs in a top down manner in dry climates kya hoga there is less precipitation due to which most of the time there is less precipitation due to which most of the time the soil spaces are empty theek hai so jo soil ke andar jo spaces hain pore spaces within the soil they are empty and if they are empty एमटी मतलब देर इज ओनली एयर दे आर ओनली फिल्ड विथ एयर लिखना चाहते हो तो लिख सकते हो दे आर फिल्ड विथ एयर एंड इफ इट इज सो डज इट मीन दैट देर विल बी कैपुलरी फिनोमिना ठीक है सो अगर ऐसा है कि ये सपोज सॉइल है एंड हियर देर इज द ग्राउंड वॉटर टेबल विच इज देर इज इट पॉसिबल दैट फ्रॉम हियर इफ द स्पेसिस आर फ्री the capillary phenomena will dominate theek hai humid areas mein kya ho raha hai this is the dry region in humid areas there is most of the time there is infiltration taking place theek hai so the pore spaces if you talk about most of the time they are filled with water in the human area in the humid areas in the dry areas the pore spaces are filled only with air and thus there will be dominance of capillary action so let's look isko thus there is dominance of capillary action 
capillary action. Due to which differentiation primarily is bottom up, primarily is bottom up, differentiation primarily takes place in a bottom, bottom up manner. ठीक है, तो इसमें नीचे से ऊपर की तरफ होगा bottom up and humid में ऊपर से नीचे की तरफ. ठीक है, so यहाँ पर पहले what we are just trying to say is something like this. Suppose this was the soil, here there was all of this was the mineral horizon. कोई differentiation नहीं था. ठीक है, अब यहाँ पर क्या होने लगा कि So suppose this is your groundwater table. Okay, so this is the entire mineral horizon. Now the water, what happens? It begins to rise through capillary action. By the time it has reached to the lower part of mineral horizon, what happens to this water? It begins to evaporate. ठीक है और ये जब इवापोरेशन होगा तो वॉट इट विल डू इट विल लीव बिहाइंड द सोल्स सो दे विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग डिपॉजिटेड इन द बी लेयर इन द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द मिनरल लेयर तो अगर वो लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द मिनरल लेयर में डिपॉजिट होने लगे तो कैन आई से फिर से सेम फिनोमिना हो गया डिफ्रेंसिएशन का देर विल बी बी एंड ए लेयर विच विल बी ठीक है अभी इसको डिटेल में करते हैं जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस तो दिस इज द वे इट विज टेकिंग प्लेस इन द ड्राई रीजन देन ह्यूमिड एरियाज की अगर बात करें तो ह्यूमिड एरियाज में देर आर थ्री प्राइमरी फिनोमिना विच आर टेकिंग प्लेस ठीक है सो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नाउ द ह्यूमिड एरियाज इन द ह्यूमिड एरियाज देर आर थ्री बेसिक फिनोमिना थ्री बेसिक फिनोमिना One phenomena is the phenomena of leaching. Another phenomena is the phenomena of alluvation. You know, both of these are associated with loss of soil material from top soil. They are associated with the loss of material from the top soil, and there is the third phenomena. It is alluvation. And alluvation is related with what? Addition of material in the lower soil. इन द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द सॉइल ठीक है सो ये तीन बेसिक फिनोमिना है विच आर टेकिंग प्लेस नाउ दीज थ्री बेसिक फिनोमिना दे टेक डिफरेंट फॉर्म इन डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टेम्परेचर रिजीम्स ठीक है सो वट दे आर डूइंग दे आर टेकिंग डिफरेंट फॉर्म इन different temperature regimes temperature regimes so do tarike ki temperature regimes ho sakti hain it can be cool or cold regimes so cool cold regimes mein what will be taking place there will be phenomena which we call it as silication this phenomena is also referred to as podzolization it is referred to as podzolization theek hai warm ya fir hot regimes mein 
what we will be finding we will find a phenomena which is referred to as desilication desilication jab yahi desilication hota hai special circumstances mein when it is taking place it is referred to as laterization then it is referred to as the laterization theek hai so these are the primary processes which are occurring where in the humid regimes iske alawa humid regime mein ek aur phenomena ho sakta hai and if you talk about this phenomena it is referred to as glaying theek hai aur ye kahan par hota hai it is occurring in water log regions water log situations mein theek hai so that is the phenomena of which are taking place in the humid areas because it will take at least 30 40 minutes so 11 o'clock it is already so i'll stop for today we'll continue this tomorrow and <clears throat> we'll see what is leaching what is elevation what is elevation what is silication desilication ye sare phenomena dekhenge and tomorrow then we'll talk about the classification of soils like for example we'll see that for example this is the distribution of soils in the tundra zone we find that there is tundra soils then there are variety of podzol soils which are found theek hai podzols of cool climate that is the taiga wale climate mein podzols milte hain then podzols which are also referred to as brown earth to ye brown earth kahan par milte hain hame ye brown earth milte hain for example in british type of climate mein milenge laurentian mein milenge then podzols of warm areas which will be essentially found in mediterranean china type areas mein mil jayenge theek hai aur humid zones mein hum dekhenge there is can you see this ferrosols this is the red soils which are found theek hai jo dry or semi dry zones hote hain usme this type of soils would be found chernozems lp soils desert soils ये ग्रुमू सॉल्स आर पर्टिकुलर सॉइल्स विच आर एसोसिएटेड विथ समाना टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट्स सो वराइटी ऑफ टाइप ऑफ सच सॉइल्स वी विल बी थिंग टूमोर ठीक है सो कल का जो टारगेट है हमारा दैट इज द कंप्लीटिंग दिस प्रोसेस एंड द सॉइल क्लासिफिकेशन सो टूमोरो विल कंप्लीट द पार्ट ऑफ सॉइल विच वी हैव टू स्टडी एंड डे आफ्टर टूमोरो विल स्टार्ट विद द फैक्टर्स कंट्रोलिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स yes you can use tanu you can use the same definition in gs also there is nothing technical about the definition of the soil that we use yes ayush handouts ko to ratta marna hi padega there is no other choice we have 